Ahoy, wonders, and welcome back to the table. Yar. Har, Yo fiddle dee dee. Yo ho. Zito, you be back. Yes, I be H back. How did you enjoy the Saturday morning cartoon? <laughs> it was great. No, it was, it, it was That's like. That's all I wanted. It's like, it's, it's, I now know what it's like to be the creator of source material and watching someone making an 80s cartoon version of it. <laughs> Excellent. But uh, you might notice this wall behind us today is bare, uh, and that's because today we are finally unveiling who has won our flag <gasps> contest. Ooh, the but flag. before we do, we got some runners up. If you want to take Ooh, a look yes, directly yes. below me, right down here. Right. No, yep, yep, go right ahead. Number one here we have by Ooh. Hikari Moon. Uh, this is a runner up. We have. Uh, I thought it was an amazing design. Uh, the only reason I think it like did not win for me is that it's a little overly complicated to see from a distance as like a flag would need to be. Yeah. I think it's a beautiful symbol though. I feel like I, I could see like a sigil with that on it. Or yeah. Something. Yeah. Yeah. Like I think it is an amazing sigil. Like uh, press it into wax and yeah. seal an envelope. Ooh, yeah. All right. cool. Unfortunately for me, it just did not sit as a flag. Just just barely. Like this was very close. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like these, there, there were some these very runner, strong like, contenders. Yeah, I'll say for these runners up <laughs> that we have selected here, they were like a razor thin margin away from like just having it. <laughs> uh, next up here we have uh, this one uh, by oh man I can't read that Brian can you the Sabessa the Sabessa draw on this one. I love it. I love the colors. I love all of the uh, like the way it combines the crew. It's just a little overly complicated. Yeah, it's just yeah. a little too busy. So, so imagine. It's a nation flag. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. It's, yeah. Uh, it's not, it, here's the thing. I wouldn't even say it's a nation flag because nation flags are very simple. Yeah. This uh, this is more of like a state flag. Yeah. Picture, if you will, like being like looking out in the middle of the ocean, and now there's someone like, I don't know, like 120 feet away from you, and you have to use a spyglass. Yeah, like that's some, with, some some like 100 meters out there, like. You're like, what the fuck is that? But this, it's, this is like it's, a, a it's still a beautiful design, and I love the uh, additions to like, like I said, each of the crew. Like, it represents the three mm -hmm. uh, founding members of the Wonders. Yeah, that's that's definitely something we were and looking that, for. Yeah, that's something that we were always looking for. I can see that being said, though. I can see this as like a frame in someone in universe's picture, like a picture framed in someone's universe in universe uh, yeah. outfit. Like that'd be great. Yeah, I could see that very easily. Next up. Kind of flopped there for a second. Uh, this one by Bracky, uh, actually implementing the idea of a different shaped flag, yes. which I which I think we all really appreciate. And I also love the sigil again. Uh, it's basically a tree that's a key. It's very playful, very fun. I thought this was an amazing design. Uh, unfortunately, again, just from a distance, kind of hard to see. And I can't, unfortunately, I, I couldn't get a flag printed in that shape. The pennant <laughs> shape. Or yeah. I yeah, that, I'm not going to lie. I would have loved to have it in that shape. But yeah, like you said, like that was a printing factor. And I'm like, oh, yeah, I, I, I needed I needed to get these printed. And I needed to like, yeah. you know, as much as I would have loved to. Like, I think this one is great. Bracky, you do some amazing work for like mm -hmm. it, it, all the art that you've ever put out has been incredible. And you're also showing yourself to be an incredible graphics designer, dude. Like that yeah. is that is a great symbol. Dude, help me out with a t-shirt design. He knows his shit. Oh, he yeah. does. He does. Bracky knows his shit. Thank you so much, Bracky, for that. Again, like this close. Yep. And the last and certainly not least, uh, we have this uh, yeah. one by, uh, uh, is that Neo Neko 5200? Yep. Uh, 5000. 5000. Sorry. Neo Neko 5000. Uh, playing with like kind of the skull and crossbones motif with the lock and the tree. I love that Ezra is just kind of sitting there in the middle as the <laughs> ringmaster. <laughs> Got a spear and a flute. Again, includes everything that you would look for in a flag. And it was just so close. Yeah. Like I love yeah, the colors. I love everything. Like it, it's actually my uh, high school's colors. So going back <laughs> to like my alma mater, the gold and the blue. Uh, but the winner, and I can finally unveil this, Ben. If you would yep. help me out. So we got Try the top to corner. Uh, 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 roll forward just a little bit, Grant. There we go. Uh, Oops. Yeah, you bottom. think you got there the bottom? Go. This yeah. wonderful design by Marvel Poison, like visually distinct, includes all of the parts of the natural wonders. You got the music, you got the waves, you got the tree. Uh, visually distinct, it's got two very distinct colors with white separating them out, very distinct from a distance. I think it's beautiful. Thank you so much, Marvel Poison. We absolutely adore yep. this design, and we will 
proudly fly it above the table. So thank you so much for everybody who uh, yes. sent in a design. Bravo. We had so many designs. great ones, so many that I'm just unable yeah. to show or else we'd be here all uh, yeah. day. Yeah, that would be a all day affair. But thank you guys so much and congratulations to Marvel Poison. Thank you so much. That's gonna pick up on the mics amazingly. Yeah, I'm Beautifully. Sure. Beautifully. <laughs> I'm just pop, pop, pop. Why, why I started clapping back. <laughs> hey, hey th those on YouTube, you awake yet? Good. <laughs> Also, additional shout out before we get properly started. Uh, I know she saw was on the fan art stream, but look at this! Look at this Eloy bling that uh, got sent to me by Ariana. Thank you so much. That's great. Very cool. <laughs> All right. Now he'll never forget his name when he goes out on adventures. <laughs> How do I spell it? Oh, right. <laughs> e Edward? No, he's a jerk. And, he's, and um. he, he keeps looking at it, and then he writes it backwards each time. <laughs> by the way, before we get started. Uh, would you mind turning on that fan and have it like cycling back yeah. and forth? It's gonna get a little stale in here tonight because we are finally getting in the middle of that Texas yeah, like spring. spring heat. Yeah. There spring is sprung, lads. Ah. And maybe that flag will wave in the breeze. Who knows? <laughs> That's a while. It's kind All of right, fun. gentlemen. So this is totally not a cop out for the DM to remember what's going on. Yeah. Because he's been gone for two weeks. <laughs> Are you guys ready for your undersea adventure? We are ready for our undersea adventure. Uh, like, you know, I, we've, we've sent off uh, Pliskin and... Red Skrung? Is that it? Or was it Pliskin? Uh, Red has to come with us because yeah, she casts right. water breathing. Yes. But we sent off Pliskin, Gulfer, and Skrung to go take care of the uh, Rumblood kids yep. yes. with the ship that we rented from Gore, yep. as well as... Uh, I believe he's uh, he either sold us or he's le lending us a diving bell. He is lending you a diving bell. Uh, uh, as the morning uh, as the morning approaches, uh, it is actually dropped off to you by a few uh, naval workers. Uh, the diving bell can comfortably fit six people inside of it. That's a huge bell. Yeah. yeah, no, it. What it looks like. So pretty much what you're looking at is a giant. It, it starts off like a bell, but then kind of looks like it. It's like an Iron Maiden. In a sense, but like a so really so it's just like a gigantic dome. Of yeah, like kind of like kind of like the little Russian dolls, except it's huge. It okay. can house people. Picturing like a Bioshock style bathosphere. That that yeah. works. That completely <laughs> works. So yeah, you pretty much got yourselves a bathosphere that can comfortably fit six people, and since you can swim, that makes yeah, seven. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm yeah, I'm making a, I'm making a scouting mission basically. Yeah. So you guys are still at port. Gore like just shows up. Actually, you guys wake up and you hear. Hello, it's me. I instantly hoisting the diving bell with one hand over his head. Yeah, <laughs> I, I I have covered my face and like I, I basically just put on my shark helmet so like you can't see my face. Then put on my D Johnny Dark Souls cloak or <laughs> my uh, Johnny Bloodborne cloak. Yeah, that's a it's a big bell you got there. I know, isn't it nice? The boys whipped it up a few nights ago. We were going to use it for a little excavation down below. We, were, we heard there might be etchings of the abyssal around, but it was just bunk. It was kids being kids, you know. Well. They were punished right well! Oh, great. Well, but, but, again, just kids. Just I'm kids. I'm glad we can test it for you properly. Oh, no, trust us. This was tested whiles ago. <laughs> Excellent. So, so long as oh, I don't know, you run into a giant whale. And <laughs> what are the chances of that? That happening? would be pretty bad. But That'd be silly. The poor thing would give itself a concussion. <laughs> this thing actually does have an electromagnetic field. If something should touch it out from the outside. Oh, oh, that's good. Good, good to know. Yeah, glad, glad to hear that. It's a magical bell. Yes. We don't want our star players to use out. Uh, use uh, find out there's some. Little extra fun bits at the bottom of the ocean that want you dead. Oh, we don't want that at all. That would be awful. Oh, that'd be terrible. Thank you so much, Lieutenant. Well, he just like grabs the other three under his arms. Let's get going. <laughs> and he just waddles on off. <laughs> I love character. that man. Always, always a joy. I, I, I follow him. You're going with him? You're leaving. You're leaving with Gore. Or wait, I, I thought we were. I thought he was saying, "Let's go," as in we're. we're oh going. no, he took the. He took oh, the other. Yeah, yeah he, he took. Gotcha. He took. his uh, ensigns. Okay, with him. I thought yeah. he. I thought he took the rest of our gang with him, and I was like, "Whoa, all right, I guess we're well, going." Well, bye guys, enjoy <laughs> the sea. So, you guys pretty much will have the morning to do any miscellaneous shopping you wish to do. 
Uh, anything you want to do to prep for this before Caster shows up? Uh, all I want to make sure is I have the scrying orb ready to communicate for when I find the city that we're looking for to make sure that, you know, there's a place to breathe for people. Mm. So we got our scrying orb set up. I have the smaller one with me. How I should describe the bathysphere, though, with the electromagnetic field he was talking about, mm -hmm. it's literally tiny little gargoyle heads of dragons that are arching down, and when activated from the inside, it creates a lightning breath effect that covers the entire inside of it. You can enter from the top, but going anywhere around it while it's activated. You mean from beneath, it. right? I'm sorry? You mean from beneath. I mean, it's a diving bell, right? You, yeah, like, you yeah, go the, under it. The yeah. entrance is the okay. bottom. Yeah, but once you activate it, it covers it. Okay. So if you're unless you're directly underneath it, you're going to get shocked. Gotcha. Okay, so uh, we're going to need to find a way to hang this over the side of the Yeldon, so... Uh, Gore is assigned for that. You guys, oh, awesome. Yeah, he. it took like a couple of hours, but he got a couple of his buddies to help out with that. This is like super early in the morning. Gotcha. Okay. You're, you're probably like... You're waiting on Caster. You're prob unless you decide to go out shopping or do anything else, you're going to be taking off in like... Six in the morning. Yeah, first light was basically what I said. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> All right. Um, and if you guys want to do something before we kick off? I'm trying to think if there's anything that I need specifically for this. Legitimate Larry kind of fleeced us of most of our gold. What are you talking about, Shifty Eyes? <laughs> no, he did it legitimately. He did it legitimately, yeah. <laughs> you can't say he's a con man. I, I never would have <laughs> said the such. I could if I wanted to be a damn liar. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Actually, I I think I will, uh, uh, if I have time to swing by legitimate Larry's and see if he's got any potions or scrolls of, of water breathing just as, as an extra insurance policy should things go real bad. A scroll of water breathing. I will say that you heading over to his place, it's like barely opening hours. He's he's waking up, he's in like a little knapsack that's twirling around in his hair. <laughs> what? Uh, sorry to bother you so early, sir, but I just had I just had a, a just a quick request. If you had any potions or scrolls or 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 anything else that might help me breathe underwater, we're we're going real deep. And we should be fine. Everything should be fine. Just in case. Have I fleeced you in like the last six hours? <laughs> no, sir. I'm not a sheep man. I'm a donkey man. <laughs> Shit, right. Okay, one second. <laughs> hey! Just like throws his cap aside, but it's like, come on in. <laughs> uh, he will sell you a scroll of water, water breathing for 800 bucks. I am calling bullshit on that one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not there. You are not there. Oh, uh, what would it be? An insight to see if that's a fair price? Yeah. All right. Well, you're, you're pretty much reading to see if he's, like, doing you a dishonor. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Does uh, he think it's a fair price? Yeah. I roll an 11. While this man's still, like, half alive, <laughs> did, just only had one cup of coffee, and he just got out of bed, it's still pretty legit. <laughs> he is more legit before breakfast than the rest of us are the rest of the day. It's true. I don't know why I doubted. 800 it is. <laughs> cool, thanks. Here you go. I could have gotten my weapon to be a plus two. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I also just won a lot of money from that battle of the It's bars. true. I'm, I'm doing flush. okay. <laughs> yeah, so he... he and hands you off a scroll of water, water breathing for eight hundred. Yep, and I'd rather be, <laughs> I'd rather have an extra scroll and be eight hundred lighter than not have it and be eight hundred <laughs> belly up on the surface. Yeah, <laughs> drown. Be eight hundred heavier underwater, no less. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Ezra, do you need to do anything? I think I'm good actually. Looking over everything, thought I was gonna have to restock on crossbow bolts, but I'm looking good on them. So sounds pretty good. I think I'm all right. And with that... Uh, Wake wanted to oh. uh, at least just leave a message for Calliope, letting her know that uh, they're heading off on an expedition to the bottom of the sea to try to find some artifacts in order to make our mission a little easier and figure that she would want to stay with the calls for her side of her mission. Yep. Uh, so he leaves a message with the calls downstairs because it's early and he doesn't want to wake her. Just what? 
There's a little, uh... <laughs> <laughs> There's a little munchkin to back, so he just takes the letter. Thank you, sir. All right, I'm going to write <laughs> a... Uh, I, I, I'm, I'm going to see how well I wrote it with a charisma <laughs> check. All right. 19. I hey, did pretty right. good. Man, you're fucking dotting all the T's and crossing all the I's right now. <laughs> I it's said it fucking... very eloquently in the most polite manner possible, wishing her well and saying that so well, I, without, we'll, we'll meet again in the morrow. I, I, just, I just fucking imagine that like it's so, it's so dense and so poetic. I can't fucking read cursive. What is this? <laughs> Did we write this in Aquin? Hi, <laughs> charisma check. And Whoa, I sign it with shark jaws. <laughs> you bite it. Well, that's pretty good. That's what she gets when she wakes up. Oh, can't believe I have to wake up this early with you, Neanderthals. Well, once again, Caster, uh, this could be a dangerous mission. Nothing says you have to come with us. Nonsense. Of course I have to come along. All right. By the way, Wake is on the ship, and he's not dressed up as Sheldon. Okay. Oh, your makeup's off. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Well, this is crazy. I'm gonna go see if our chef is cooking anything. <laughs> I, was about, I was about to say, like, you hear, like, ding, 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 ding as the dinner bell goes off. Come and get it! I will come and get it. What's what's for breakfast, Grammy? It's breakfast time! Breakfast time! <laughs> breakfast time! She's like, Ninja Star's plates on your table. <laughs> there are fish heads looking at you. Yes! My f one of my favorites. <laughs> Can we get a double helping for our guest of honor, Mr. Caster? You can, you have not lived till Grammy, you tasted Grammy's cooking. Grammy, this is Mr. Uh, Caster. He will be accompanying us on this expedition to the bottom of the sea. Yeah. Along with isn't his, his daughter stayed yeah, back? His daughter stayed behind. Yeah, but, he's not taking her. Yeah, yeah, we, you we, convinced we just, him. Is Barabbas there though? Did Barabbas he? is there. Okay. Yes. Along with Barabbas, his uh, his personal bodyguard. All right. So going with us. Didn't just I cook someone like you. <laughs> I'm sure <laughs> there are plenty of. I, I'm sure you cooked for plenty of people <laughs> like him. Just to get us a final roll call for who we have with us, we have Ziaka, we have Red, we have Onslow, we have Risf. Correct? Yes. And there's All right. And then us Barabbas three. and Caster. Barabbas and Caster. So nine altogether. Oh, and Nedra, of course. Yeah. Ten. All right, so there are fish heads looking at you. You've never seen fish like these before, unless you want to roll me a nat. Uh, I assumed I caught them, but a knowledge nature check. Fourteen. Actually, do I get advantage? No, I do not. They're not advantage, but no, these are these are not saltwater fish. These are freshwater. Oh. Uh, they okay. So they look like a salamandery version of a bulldog looking at you. Oh, so they're snake heads. All right. No, kind of. Kind of not snake heads. Hmm. Think a monkfish if you know what that is. I do. <laughs> yep. <laughs> That's staring up at you. And those are all like cut and cleaned, descaled, and every time you like watch the table move a little bit, it jiggles with it to the extreme. Great. Onslow, did you catch these? Ah, so I've never even seen stuff like this before. Grammy, you work wonders. I'm going to just dig in. I got him for a high price. Excellent. Roll con. Yes, sir. Uh, Nine. Nine. Well, that's pretty good. I think I made this one. Nineteen. Nineteen. Yeah. You scarf it down. It has this lean taste of chicken in some regard, hmm. almost like eel, but. The, the meat is way more blubbery than it is lean. Tastes like a briny bird. <laughs> I take a modest bite from my fork. Fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> Every time Granny serves food. You know what? I'm getting a low roll out of the way. How about that? Ten? Oh, I said a modest well. bite. Wasn't this enormous thing? Just a, just a, no. You're still consuming it, though. Yeah. You're still consuming it, though. You're not throwing up. <laughs> no? hey, why don't you just roll first before I go into his uh, spiel? Yeah. <laughs> how, how about you You throw your hand in before you get to see what success and failure oh. look like? 
I have, I have. <sighs> the double-edged sword of hey! five. <laughs> oh. You and I will be sharing a cabin on this trip. <laughs> Wake the iron stomach. You know, I was going to boost my con anyway so that I have better concentration rolls, but boy, that would come in handy for Grammy's <laughs> cooking as well. <laughs> Every morning. Eh, you, you don't really, you don't, you don't feel sick. Again, you just get this lean, <laughs> this like you get this lean taste, but it's not, the texture of it is just weird enough that it's like, you. this shouldn't taste this good. Like it's 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 an uncanny valley for you. So now it's just unsettling that yeah. I'm possibly enjoying this. Yeah, it, it's like I shouldn't like this, but I do. Okay. Guess the secret ingredient. I'm too busy scarfing, but I'll make a survival check. Uh, survival twenty one. Or twenty two. I'm sorry, that's a sixteen plus six. Twenty two. Yeah. Alrighty. Uh. I have a modified 20. Also a modified 20. Tastes like bacon grease. Is it pig? She like carves the side of its cheek and there are flabs of pig on the side, in, inside of it. She made a turducken with a monk-like fish. <laughs> <laughs> Grammy, you are amazing. I have to admit, it's an incredibly creative dish. How is, how is Mr. Caster reacting to our cuisine? He hasn't taken a bite. What's wrong? It's a long journey. You're going to get hungry out there. It's good. How, How do you savages survive like this? Like this? <laughs> I don't know why, but I like things that are two things. He, like, he like looks <laughs> over to Barabbas. Barabbas is just like... <laughs> yeah. I just imagine Nedra sitting there, staring at him. <laughs> yeah, she has been the whole time. She... she <laughs> You know what she does? She's looking at Barabbas this whole time. Barabbas is eating, like, calmly, just like, hmm, not bad. There's Nedra. <laughs> eating a cup? Yeah, she's <laughs> eating a cup, and there's <laughs> there's Red just looking at her like, um, Ned, Nedra, I... <laughs> Sweetheart, your food's... Nope, oh, okay. If I blink or look away, he might not be here when I, when I do so. <laughs> <laughs> mm, I gotta remember that for my next recipe. <laughs> oh, log that away in case I'm ever asked to guess again. <laughs> Out of curiosity, do I get anything for passing, or was it just a no? Go, you do up check. Okay. No, no, no. You do. Uh, for those who had consumed the food, I'm going to say like now that you like know that this uncanny valley has been unveiled. It's like, oh, this makes a lot more sense and tastes a lot better now that I know it's not just some blobfish. <laughs> Mystery thing. Wake was actually slightly disappointed that there was pig. <laughs> ah, <laughs> land animal again. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, you get advantage to uh, con saves Ooh. for the next 24 hours. That'll be useful when you guys are getting the bends. <laughs> All right, well, I hope you've gotten all of your <sighs> lowly things and just, just, you got everything prepared, yes? You were, we're ready to set sail, I suppose. Uh -huh. Absolutely. <laughs> I ask, like, I, I say just like, great, where's out. my quarters? Hey, Yeldon, does this guy got a room? <laughs> oh, one second. Caster's like, what the f what? <laughs> the fucking entire thing starts shaking violently. <laughs> Room's done. Room's done. Thanks, Yeldon. You look you look over at like the table that you're sitting on and a small little thumbs up kind of erupts from the wood. <laughs> Here, Caster, I'll show you to your room. I I lead the way to his new quarters. Or uh, <laughs> Assuming I can find it, I guess. I assume Barabbas can stay somewhere as well. Ah, uh, Barabbas didn't. I mean, we have several empty rooms since we don't have our entire crew with us. Yeah. That's fair, but do you want Caster and Barabbas in someone else's quarters? Oh. No, but we just made a room for Caster. That's fair. All right, so Caster pretty much gets a standard affair room. Nothing fancy as you guys get because he doesn't fucking live here. Yeah. Does he get a window? No. Good. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Caster, this is our guest quarters. Uh, I, once again, let me reiterate, 
you did not have to come. We were not expecting to uh, accommodate one of your lifestyle, but here you go. Please uh, try your best to make yourself I'll at home. I'll have you know, son, that I have been around the block more times than you can imagine. I'm happy that you find this amusing. Don't make him stomp the yard on you, Ezra. <laughs> <laughs> Forgive my ignorance, Mr. Caster. I just completely understand uh, what it can be like going from the lap of luxury and down to our, uh, our, our, our squabble, if you will. I'll have you know, I've taken fencing for years, longer than you've probably been alive. I usher his bags into the room. There you are. And I hold out my hand. <laughs> <laughs> Roll persuasion. <laughs> Eleven. He's so accustomed to doing it that he forgets it. <laughs> doesn't just puts, even think about it. He just it. puts a fucking silver piece in your hand. Thank you. <laughs> just walk away. <laughs> reflex action. Wait, no. Then, then he stops and looks at you. Now, as a... Wait a minute. You're gone. You're fucking gone. <laughs> So he seems quite confident. Barabbas would request looking at, uh, would request taking a room, but by the time you you guys get back, he just looks up to you because Nedra's now standing in front of him ready to football tackle. You wanna stay in my room, Mr. Barabbas? <laughs> I don't wish to impose on someone else's lodgings if Oh it's if, fine! We got plenty of empty rooms. Some of our crew was uh, will not be coming with us. Very well. Do you need time for that for their <laughs> just imagine standing there front of Uh <laughs> Yeah. He's just standing there just looking at her, just like, very well, do you require time to remove their belongings so I may have a place to stay? I mean, their stuff doesn't take up a whole lot of room in their rooms. We show we show them around to the empty rooms. I'm guessing Nedra's just the Nedra. entire time. Yeah, Nedra, so what the so remember that you remember that in that one gif in the anime con where there's a bunch of spider spider man conga lining to take on me as they're going down the fucking hallway? Yeah. Right. Like that that's like Nedra's just like like just following <laughs> behind him, just like, I'm gonna get you. I'm getting you one of these days. Uh um, don't mind her, she just wants a rematch. Can I do like a quick uh I don't know if it'd be investigation or perception, but I just try to look for the room that has like the least belongings in it that I could just maybe maybe quickly just bundle up and move. That'd be Pliskins. Okay. <laughs> then I then to Pliskins. Throw his shit into the hall. Then, then to Pliskins oh, room shit. I go and I just kind of bundle it up and uh, I just set his stuff. Oh, just ceremoniously throw it off the ship. No. Right, gotcha. <laughs> no, I'm we give him a, we give him a little hobo bindle. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. You you know what? No, nah, just you know what? I insist. I, I will bundle up my belongings. Pliskin's not here to ask his permission. Uh, no, I will I will stay in Pliskin's room. I will remove my stuff, and you can have e my room. Eloy, you sleep on a pile of hay. Yeah, I will move my pile of hay. <laughs> Unless you want the pile of hay, that's fine, too. You don't have a I bed. I actually wouldn't mind the pile of hay. Did you take the hay? I'm, I'm used to... I'm used what to the build. hay? It's yours. I mean, I mean, Barabbas just looks around and just goes, truth be told, I'm used to building nests. A home builder. Wow. <laughs> You're a multifaceted, talented man, Mr. Barabbas. <laughs> you kind of just like see him go in there, look inside at the nest. I must <laughs> away for twigs. <laughs> <laughs> I must gather grubs from my young. <laughs> well, all right, Eloy. Now we've got your situation. How, uh, how do you plan on sleeping? I, just, I sleep freaking anywhere. You know that. You shouldn't need to sleep on the job anyway. We're only three hours away from port. Fair enough. Yes, but we don't know how many days we're going to be there. Oh, well, if you're as top condition as your entire crew claims to be, I'm certain we can get this done quickly with no issue whatsoever. I Whoa. imagine you're correct. And to the camera. <laughs> <laughs> We've never promised no issue, just that we would get it done. <laughs> I suppose that's fair, considering <laughs> it's a favor rather than an actual paid job. Yep. <laughs> now, I have the paperwork here. Now, as we recall, we're looking at this to be 90, 
Yes, those yep. were the terms you wrote up. 90% of what you deem valuable. Good. I'm happy we were able to discuss that matter. Now, <laughs> a way out of this room, I must prepare. Uh, we're in good. the hallway. <laughs> I exit this room. Leave, Father. I don't want to see you. Leave. Okie dokie. Get out. I, I walk up to the helm. How does this thing work? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you head up to the helm? Yeah, we gotta get moving somehow, and Golfer's the one that drives. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, and Pliskin has was was the second was the yeah. helmsman as well. <laughs> Alright, I am going to make an intelligence check uh, to see if I know what they normally do. I'm doing pretty damn good today. That's a 19. I, I've been well, around on you deck know, when they've done it enough. You know enough that probably starting up the ship without weighing Hanker might be a good idea. <laughs> All right. Um, hey, Eldon, can you kind of talk us through this? Like, let's see. Uh, so, um, I look for the wind. Mm, okay. Uh, let's uh, get st turning out of port. I start turning. <laughs> um, Ziaka and Red are standing to the side, just watching this. Okay. Uh, we, hey, Yeldon, can I get uh, half half sails? <laughs> Thank you. Uh, uh, Glad that worked. Let's uh, bring up the anchor, if we can. I walk over to it and try and help it along a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Yeldon and Ezra. You're welcome. All righty then. I uh, <laughs> don't own a compass. <laughs> Riss kind of like pokes you on the shin. Hey, Riss. Would you mind stepping aside? Absolutely. <laughs> I step aside. Raise the mizzen mast. Take a starboard. <laughs> He's a natural. Look at him go. You remember? If you remember, he worked alongside. <laughs> He's been traveling with for a while. Yep. So he picked up a few things here and there. So now you have a tiny little kobold boy at the helm, <laughs> Mister <laughs> Mister uh, Mister Wake. I need a stool. Absolutely. Let's just go. Imagine, uh, like his little head like poking over in the captain's <laughs> wheel. Give me, give me like twenty minutes. I only just ate breakfast. I'm gonna go find him a crate. <laughs> From Red, our, Red <laughs> picks up a small book. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go we have I, fun here. I'm gonna go find him a crate from the storage area. That's fair. Probably something that we kept cannonballs in. <laughs> and uh, you you watch as he gets up on there. Okay, now oh! he, like turn like you watch as the fucking footing of the ship pushes the crate along with it. So Ziaka just goes. Coils herself around it to use as a weight. <laughs> Thank you. Huh. We're good at this. Yeah. <laughs> Improvising. And I got us going. I'm very proud yeah, of me today. Nice going. You loosened Wake. up for him. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So. Also, uh, I'll just say that flavor text wise, we had this commissioned in town and now it flies <laughs> above our mast. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> yep, now you're sailing colors. You guys are completely distinct from almost every other ship in this entire fleet. Save for the Navy, which probably has like a little bit of blue in their flag, the green completely outclasses it. So now you're completely distinct from everything yeah. else. Outclassed. <laughs> we will not be mixed up for some other organization. No longer. All right, so with that, you guys uh, head on off, and you're making your way uh, the, to the uh, southeast coast of uh, Bullcard. I continue, like, uh, while we're making this journey, I continue trying to teach Nedra how to read. Teaching her the ABCs, making sure she knows how to scribble things properly. Roll me a... Roll me an intelligence check. Uh, 13. Poor girl rolled the two. She's still struggling. All right, well, she'll get there. With that, uh, it's now, I'm going to say 10, 9 o'clock in the morning. Okay, so we're the getting close to our... The sun's pretty clear out there. You're now getting away from the landmass. You're getting away from the landmass that was uh, Bullcard. You're watching as, like, the shifting sands of what looked like a little bit of desert and cliffside is now starting to get away from your view. 
Uh, ships are now getting very sparse. There's not a lot of uh, activity around here. Maybe like a stray fisherman's boat off to the side or a sloop coming into port uh, from a vast. But beyond that, you really don't have anything else. Uh, so who's got the map? Yep. You're Mr. That's K. Cartographer. Yeah, I'm the cartographer. What do you need? All right, cartographer. Roll me a survival check with advantage. It's Ceylon. Going to use that advantage. That's my... All right. Uh, 16. Okay. Smooth sails. Uh, moderate winds. Uh, nothing's really, like, faltering the ship to the side. Uh, you take a look at the map, you feel that you're reaching your destination, and this might be a fine place to weigh anchor. Off to the southeast of you, uh, from where you're standing, like if you turn around, that's where the landmass is. So you can barely just see the landmass of Bullcard in your view right okay. before you make, uh, you make stop. Also, I realize I totally have a compass because I have a cartographer's kit. Ah. Well, it was in a bag, and you didn't think about it at the time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, so you guys are now just off. Uh, you're way far off the coast. Uh, you look in the water. The waves, like I said, are still calm. There are a bunch of seagulls flying around in some places where, like, fish are going up to catch brine. So, again, this looks like a prime fishing spot. All right. And you said we're probably nearing our destination. You're, based, you're somewhere in the vicinity of your destination, like, all you have to go on is just a red X on the map, and right. you don't know if that's completely accurate. All right, I'm going to have us weigh anchor here just so we can, I can start scouting. All right, so what do you wish to do? All right, we weigh anchor. And I'm just going to, you know, remove my upper half, like, take off the cloak that I would normally be wearing. And I'm going to grab my spear, and I'm going to dive in the water. All right. So you head down. Caster kind of looks look over to the side. Well, the poor bastard's going to kill himself, I guess, down there. No, no, trust me. He, he, he is fine. If we want anyone jumping in the water, it's that guy. All right. So I'm going to... Indeed. <clears throat> swim deep. Swim deep. So it's been 10 minutes, and you're still swimming down. Uh, Beginning to remind me of that tower. <laughs> <laughs> you uh, keep swimming down. Uh, you're starting to see the seabed a little bit now. Like, there's a li like, it looks like there's like a little bit of rock formation forming up with whatever rays of light that are still there. But now you're starting to enter the part where sunlight is no longer touching. All right, so my, uh, my eyes are slowly adjusting, but it's not great because I don't have dark vision. Nope. Now, uh, roll perception. Uh, that would be a 13. You can't really tell, but something looks like a structure from the surface that's under the water. Mm. Like, there, like uh, something that was from Bullcard, like one of the, like, the defense towers near the fort of okay. uh, Fort Dismoth. Is there a, uh, can I make a survival check? Because I do have a empty jar uh, to try to collect some luminescent fish that I can try to make a makeshift lantern out of. Go for it. Roll me it. Uh, that is a 24. The closest thing you could probably find is maybe a couple of, like, handfuls of uh, bioluminescent jellyfish. That'll work. That'll probably give you, like, at least light for 30 feet the deeper you go down. 30 feet is better than nothing. So I'm going to scoop up one of them and just kind of, I'll feed you later. I say an Aquan. I know, I love you too. <laughs> I just well, kinda, today we learned that jellyfish don't speak Aquan. They, they speak Abyssal. All right, uh, I just kind of like tie that to my person so I can just see a little better. jellyfish does. <laughs> so uh, like I said, from what you can see right now, it looks like the outcroppings of a tower inside like the bedding of some of this rock. You still haven't reached the bottom. Right now, it's just like, is it tights or mites that go up? Uh, stalagmites are the ones that go up. Yeah, mites. So it's like a stalag, a really large stalagmite of earth, and inside of it looks like, like a like probably ten or fifteen like feet 
of space that looks like a tower from like the surface. All right, I'm gonna swim over to that, just investigate it a little bit. All right, uh, you are near the roof of this tower at this point. Uh, roll me another perception check. This time I have light. Uh, 15. All right. Uh, you watch as dirt and sand is kicked up from the roof. There are fish that were kind of like staying underneath the earth in the mo- in the uh, shook up sand, like flounders and shit, and they're starting to swim away now that something bigger has kind of like meandered its way to their home. I've eaten. I'm not hungry. Um, all right. I continue swimming down along the uh, along the tower. All right. Uh, from what you notice, there's only one entry point, but even from looking inside, it looks like the earth is still like pushing into it. It almost looks like the earth kind of came up like from the middle of this tower it? and consumed it. Okay. Though, is, uh, you... when I look when I look inside the tower, does it look like there's a way into this earth, or is it just like impaled by this? No, like... it just looks like an impaled. Okay. It. Uh, you do look inside though, but something did move. You saw like red and yellow polka dotted flesh kind of just like like slide through your peripheral vision inside the tower. Hmm. Hello, I say in Aquan. <laughs> All right, nice conversation. Talk to you later, I guess. And I s- continue swimming down. What's your uh, d- athletics? I mean, not athletics, your uh, acrobatics. Acrobatics? <clears throat> yep. Sure thing. That's my one of my better rolls. And with an 18 on the die, it's going to be pretty damn good. Acrobatics, uh, 26. You watch as an eel bigger than your upper torso's jaw snap up and try to grab at you. Whoa! It kind of slinks itself back inside. Bitch! <laughs> I, I flip it off and I just keep swimming down. As as that happened, you watch as some stray sharks kind of like swim out of the tower. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Bye, fellas. All right, downward I go. Gonna keep going down. Yep. All right. Uh, you keep swimming down. You're starting to watch as like there's more uh, there's more landmass starting to form, like the base of these uh, might of the tights or might. I'm sorry. I'm, it's okay. Stalagmite is the yeah might as the might. Uh, begins to form a base. You're watching as more pieces of these towers are showing up. Hmm. It almost looked like there are like houses that kind of slid up with the earth as it went upwards. So basically what I'm looking for down here is any sort of space, magical or otherwise, that would lead to a dry air area where these mammals can breathe. (laughs) Well, you keep going down and now you're now you've reached the bottom of the floor. Now you're in, like, anglerfish kind of territory where, like, dudes with big gaping jaws and little bioluminescent floors are swimming around. Uh, where there is light coming off of, like, other creatures, you now start to notice that there are more houses. Like, this looks like old... Like, you know, like, in... You've read the human... You've read human books and read about the history of this place. I know of, the like, humans. Of, like, the surface. Yeah. Of humans. And the human books said that they had something called a renaissance, and it showed all the architecture and, like, it was old shit, like, kind of like how Fort Dismock kind of looked, but in a grander scale. That's kind of, like, showing up. Like, all the human, like, ref... Uh, <clears throat> like, places of housing and, like, towers and shit... That's all sprouting from the earth. Hmm. And I continue swimming around. I guess I guess I'll roll an investigation to see if there's anything of interest to at least prove that it's down here. Uh, Thirteen. Thirteen. Uh, one of the houses is still open. There are sharks swimming around, but really small ones. So, like, ones that, like, oh. Not many many big fish make it this far down. Yeah. Except whales. So, uh, you head over to, like, one of the little houses. It's still filled up, like, really high up. So, like, maybe where, like, the top of the door frame is, that's where the earth is covering it. Uh, But there is the roofing, and you can go inside of it. All right, I'm going to go in there with my little jellyfish lantern. Roll uh, investigation. Do it again. That 20. That 20? All right. 
more fish scatter away from you as you come down. Uh, your you notice the only the only thing on here that you kind of notice that doesn't look like it's been eaten away with time is that there are pieces of like a shield as an emblem hanging off on the wall. Hmm. And you can't really tell what the illustration is based on how dark it is, and even with the light, time has eroded at the painting, but it's still etched in the metal. All right, I'm going to take that off the wall and just kind of, like, tie it to myself in some way so I can take it back It is way me. bigger than you. Oh. This is, like, it, it is about as big as you. Oh. It's tower. You said it's made of metal? Yep. Mm. You're looking at an extra 200 pounds if you wear this thing. I think that's above my carry capacity. <laughs> Especially swimming. All right. Um, perhaps. I don't. I, I can't really write underwater. Trixie, Trixie. Scrying orb. It's dark, man. Can't see shit. I got then, the all of a, then all of a sudden, yeah, you pull up the lantern, and all of a sudden, Swing. boom! <laughs> I just wave, because I can't really talk underwater. Yeah, you watch as Red is now looking at the orb. Mm. I, I hold the orb up to the tower shield, and I hold the lantern up to it. I, like, just motion up and down. All right. So for anyone else who wants to take a gander of what that is, yeah. roll history. All right. Ten. Also Ten. No one knows. <laughs> Everyone looks at that symbol and just looks to each other like, man, I don't fucking know. I, I just or hold it back one up more. to me. Oh, okay. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> None of us are Renaissance men. Yeah, no, no the, the paint is so eroded and the metal is, it's far too dark and even with the light, like the light kind of like adds like a glare effect onto it that no one can etch out what it is. I just, kind of, I, I just kind of scratch. It looks valuable, but maybe really heavy. Uh, I nod. <laughs> hey, uh, Wake, roll an insight check. Insight. Um, that is... Oh, wait, good. It's wisdom. Nine. <laughs> You, you hold up the lantern to try and show off the symbol, but you're holding it up against the scrying orb so much that it's making a really bad glare that you didn't notice Red scream, or you can't hear her, but you can see, like, there's a silhouette going like, but you don't notice it because you, all you can see is the elbow. It was Red screaming behind you. Hmm? I hold the orb away. It's just noticing that she's pantomiming. Roll dexterity save with disadvantage. Dexterity with disadvantage. Hmm. Well, <clears throat> gotta be more advent or gotta be worse than that. Sixteen. What's going? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you are pulled down to the ground as something very heavy binds around you. You are now inside a giant clam as the muscles inside kind of grab at the inside and try to suck you inside this clam shell. All right, I... I, I, I uh, roll the damage first. Okay, roll damage first, but I'm just going to say my first reaction will be to repocket the orb as I'm being dragged. It's 11 points of damage. Whew. All right, that is a strong clam. This reminds me of the clam that saved me when I was a baby, <laughs> except a lot more huggy. <laughs> I was going to say, except for this one seems less this one, nice. This one's really huggy. <laughs> All right. Uh, since I was pocketing the orb, uh, I'm going to basically, like, on my belt, I have my knife in there, so I'm going to take that. I'm just going to start, like, First one was like, let go! In oh, athletics first. Athletics? You are grappled at this okay. point. Okay, sure thing. That's pretty good. Uh, athletics plus six, 24. 24? All right, he failed that. You're, you're capable of like yeah, moving your arm, arm just free. enough that you can take a knife and kind of like wedge it in between where its mouth is prying open, 
that you can now use your body to pull pull yourself out. All right, so I pry myself free. That was rude. I say in Aquin. The clam is just shut. That's what I thought. It opens up and its tongue starts to undulate. Don't you do it. I pull out my spear. Don't you do it. Is it my turn? Yeah. All right. Is this technically, like, does... If you want to animal handle this thing with disadvantage, I'd allow it. Awesome. <laughs> well, that's a nat 20, so... That's less good. Uh, 17? It... Yeah, don't you... Don't you do it! Don't you do it! <laughs> I pet it. Good clam. Good, good, no. No, good clam. Good clam. Good. <laughs> We're comforting a fucking clam here on TFS at the table. Showing that the biggest muscle is our heart. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. All right, well, you have the shield, and unfortunately no one was able to read it. Uh, and I can't really carry it back up with me. No. Not it's easily. It's unfortunate. I will set it big. outside the house, though, so that we can... Roll strength. Uh, athletics check. Okay. Jeez. Good when I don't need it. Uh, I guess technically I need it. 25? Yeah. You... Shunk, shunk, shunk. Slunk. With enough force, you uh, you put it back outside, and now, like as the earth kicks up, it's now sitting on the siding of the roof. I just pull I pull out the uh, orb and the uh, lantern again, just to let them know I'm okay. <laughs> so you guys roll me an investigation check, real quick. Eight, thirteen, er, yeah, thirteen. There is a oddly different, like, shade of blue color from all the bioluminescent animals that are swimming around off in the distance. Can... You can't, uh, like... They you can, can... You can communicate yeah, with me. Yeah, I you can't, can't talk because you're underwater. You. Yeah. Does any... Uh, do any of the colors behind you look weird? Do you wake? I, you're, you're more of a seafarer than I am underwater, so... But mm -hmm. honestly, to me, this Turn is around all looking a, a little perception. strange. Perception... 13. 13? Yeah, no, he's right. And uh, last you checked, it, what, it you don't know any animal or sea creature that creates bioluminescence that makes a dome-like shape. Hmm. Even my little jellyfish friend turns green. All right, I'm going to swim this way. Scrying orb's still out so they can see what I'm seeing. The light source is getting bigger, but now the bottom of the ocean is going further and further down. <laughs> I, 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 this is just giving me the idea. I want to make a helmet to fashion the scrying orb into. So we basically got a <laughs> GoPro. Yeah. <laughs> a, scry, a scry pro plus. A, a, so, to to a scrying selfie stick. <laughs> a scry stick. A scry stick. There you go. All right. I'm going to continue towards the bioluminescence while looking down into the deeper, darker abyss. Uh, which... The bioluminescence, like, you watch as, like, the darkness is uh, going, it's going down again. It's kind of going up, but also coming down again. But again, you're seeing more of these towers and other buildings. This looks like it used to be some kind of, like... Town. Some kind of town. Ken, uh, so I know we tried to roll history for the for the shield. Now that we're able to see these houses and everything, can I see if I recognize them as any sort of era? I would say, era or with, with the fact that everything's swimming by so fast... We wouldn't be able to get a good look. No, no, look. you could try, but it's going to have a disadvantage. Okay, on I'll, I'll at least attempt. Just to also say, probably at this depth, I probably feel like a lot of pressure around me, I'm guessing. The sea pressure is probably not great. Yeah. You are not an abyssal merfolk. All right. Two good, two good rolls. Uh, 16. 16. Uh, yeah, no, this is probably 2,000 years ago. You've seen in history books about people saying, like, how kingdoms used to, f like, just fill the entire landscape. How there were other creatures that... Like, before the Ledgermain became an actual thing, before the Navy unified the world against the Onrush, this actually was a thing. There used to be, like, outcroppings of kingdoms when the lands were still being explored by people who came here from other uh, countries. 
Wake, I don't know how much of a history buff you are, but you're you, looks like you're swimming around some ruins that are like upwards of two thousand years old. We're we're finding some some old places. I just kind of shrug. Mm. <laughs> yeah, just thought you'd find it interesting. Yeah, you have no idea about surface dweller history. <laughs> However, to you, you're like, okay, well, based on the architecture, you're barely being able to see. This is Elven tech. This is okay. Elven ar- uh, infrastructure. Uh, from my past, is this is this kingdom any anywhere like similar to the one that I like was kind of born in, like the underwater area? No, yours was Aquin. This is this does oh, not look so like Aquin. It was built by Merfolk. Gotcha. Yeah. All right. So as you get closer, you're now entering what looks like a various like form of. These, this doesn't even look normal. It almost looks like different, like... You know how in Minecraft, when you put in the extra seed thing where it gives you mountainous regions and the mountains just look broken and they don't, like, look like they naturally should form? Okay. That's what's going on right now. You're getting bits and pieces that kind of float and stay in place. You got pieces of mountains that kind of curve like they're going to make a circle but then stop. I point. <laughs> <laughs> This shit's not natural, Captain. This is uh, this looks like someone put stuff here and was playing with bits and pieces. Is it is it something that I can like swim around like freely? Like oh yeah yeah, you okay. can swim around it freely. Okay, like, so it's not like in a bubble of something. No no no, like you're getting towards the bubble still. It, the bubble's getting bigger as you swim closer towards it. But now you're just watching as like the landmass around you is making all these weird shapes. Some pieces are floating. Some look like they're incomplete tunnels. Some look like they're incomplete mountains or bridges. Does it look like it was like destroyed or like it formed this way? Just looking weird. a little bit of both. Okay. Because at first when you were describing, it, I thought it looked like there was like an impact or something. But if it's just a weird looking formation, it, it, just, it just looks like a weird form of mountain Tetris on top of another one. Somebody didn't get their four-piece in a straight line. Yeah. (laughs) So uh, you finally reach the bubble, and now the light is way brighter now, and now you're actually able to, like, everyone's able to see this now. It's still too bright that you can't see what's inside, but it does look like there's a more complete what looks like a castle sitting there. I'm going to keep my jellyfish friend for now because I probably have to swim back through some of the darkness in order to get to By this yelling, time, but. you feel like you've probably swimmed 200 feet away from the Yeldon. Okay, so 200 feet one way and then several hundred meters down. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you still, you still want to get close to it, uh, to the cave? Uh, I'm, I'm going to like get to the like base of the bubble because... All right. I'm so afraid if I just touch it, something bad will ah. happen. You can just feel raw arcane energy emanating off this thing, so touching it might not be such a hot idea. Yeah. However, so I, I need to figure out like if there's a way into this bubble. There are towers that sprinkle like halfway in and out of it. Oh. So it looks like there was an entryway of some kind, but still that energy field that's like cutting through the middle of these towers might still be a problem. Uh, there might be a spot where it's weak because you look inside and it's all dry in there. There's no water. Hmm. However, as you go along the base, you then notice that there's a mount. Like, it's a little, like, what you see is, like, the bubble off on the surface. And that's all just, like, the arcane bubble. As you get down to the base, it's, like, mountain that slides in here. Tower, tower, mountainside. But this one has tunnels. And you're, like, in the middle right at this point. All right, I'm going to go look for the... uh, I'm guessing my best guess would be that one of those mountainous tunnels would be the entrance. That might be the case, but you still haven't gone inside the towers either to see what's up. All right, I'm going to investigate a tower first, then. The tower nearest the mountainside? Yes. Okay, so you head inside... You notice that there is just rubble abound. Like, this looks like one half where it was dry looks like it's still complete, while the other half of it looks like time has just taken over this place. There's barnacles all over the place. There's little eels kind of just, like, swimming around. Uh, the arcane energy that was that you felt just on your skin feels weaker here. 
Hmm. Like, it's not, it's not, like, just emanating, and it doesn't feel like it's overbearing. When you enter in through this tower, the barrier's still there, but you don't get that feeling of pushback from getting close to it. I am going to touch this part of the barrier. All right. See if I can, like, get through it. All right. Roll me a con saving throw. With advantage. Yep. Okay. Uh, that is a 16. 16? You put your hand on it, it slightly tingles, but it is repelling you. It's repelling you from going inside. You feel like with enough force, you probably could make it through, but it's going to be a struggle. I want to make sure first that I can get in there because if I'm going to bring all of them down here, <laughs> only to find out it's a dead end. Yeah. All right, so everyone on the scrying orb is seeing this, yeah. by the way. Red, you got any input here? This looks like some real magic -y arcane stuff. Red will take a look. Yeah, I'm just like pushing against it. <clears throat> it's just a very, she just looks at you, it's a very strong barrier. I don't know what's causing it to repel uh, with such force, but some amount of really high arcane magic is making this happen. Strength check punch! 17. 17? Zoom! Your whole arm goes through. Now him trying it to force the, his way in there. The arm. Yeah. Him trying to force his way in there isn't going to, like, make all the water from the outside come with him, right? It's going with him a little bit, but not all the way. Oh, okay. I'm guessing just the parts that are around my arm. Yep. But now you start to feel your arm shake as your bones almost feel like they're about to get pushed back. Mm. I, I continue trying to push forward. Uh, roll again. Strength? Yes. Oh, ooh, that's even better. That is a... 17 plus, oh, uh, 23. 23? You're now at half your frontal part of your body is through the barrier. <laughs> just pulling up, just pulling myself by the stairs. Ah! <laughs> like I can talk at you guys now. Yeah, pretty much. I found air! <laughs> ah! Yeah, but it doesn't sound very pleasant. This might not be the right way in, but it's a way. <laughs> Is someone else in there? Uh, maybe. You just hear a fade out scream. Can I make out the language? Roll intelligence. <laughs> and no fucking idea. Natural one! You have no fucking idea what that was. It was actually so startling. Roll me another strength check with oh. disadvantage because it threw you off so bad. Well. Nine. What the fuck? What, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I, let the, I let the air that was in my lungs. <laughs> well, I'm guessing someone down there didn't like you. Shrug. <laughs> let me see if someone else will be able to catch what that language was. I guess I'll check. What what role was it? A knowledge? Knowledge, yep. In uh fourteen. Eight. You and Riss both look at each other and nod in succession that you both get the same idea. That was underdark. Well, whoever it is, they're speaking underdark. What are the implications of that? <laughs> doesn't Riffs doesn't Riss speak <clears throat> underdark? He does. Like, but the fact that it was so garbled and the fact that you just got fucking pushed back, it's like... Gotcha. You, he, they could, probably, he couldn't quite make out what yeah, it was. Yeah, it, it's, like, it's like getting every three words. Gotcha. Any sort of context you can give us there, Risk? Like, I know he couldn't pick up much, but... I have no idea why someone from the Underdark would be this far down into the ocean. Like, even they would feel the pressure. Only thing I know about the Underdark is it's, it's where Billy Punchyface lived. It's like the Godfather down there. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> well, it's possible to get through. It's just very difficult. All right, so if that's not the way in, I'm going to see if there's a way that does not involve somebody with Herculean strength. Well, there is still the tunnel uh, that was off to the side. Yeah, that you can I'm going to I'm gonna attempt that one. All right, so you head out near it, but all of a sudden you feel a deep pit of rumbling inside your gut. 
Even you guys can feel this rumble coming from the scrying orb. Roll me a perception check to look in the direction and see if you could find out what the fuck that was. Something, something going on down there? What'd you do, Grammy? Perception? Yep. I don't see shit, Captain. You <laughs> Natural wa- one. You watch as a dark silhouette kind of like whizzes past your peripheral vision. It's bigger than you. Mm. It's bigger than the Elden itself. And it kind of like sits on top of where that mountainside was, kind of pecks around where the outside is, where a tunnel is, and slinks inside. Inside the tunnel that I was heading towards? Not the one you're heading towards, but there's a bigger hole that it just goes into. <laughs> I, that I, I, big. Look at the, I look at the scrying orb, I'm like... You guys need to roll me a perception check with disadvantage. Mm. Ten. Disadvantage. Natural you, one for you, you Yep. Ezra, you pray to gods that you don't think what you think is happening, but... I don't know. Something about that silhouette makes you look over at Yit sitting on Nedra's shoulder. It. D- d- oh, Yit's not paying attention. Okay. It just. Yeah. You, yeah <laughs> it's just like looking off in the distance, yeah, eating Nedra's hair. Anyone I'm know them. if it gets any bigger? Fairy dragons don't get bigger. They stay this size. That's why we should cook them and eat them. It ain't getting any fatter. Uh, does, maybe I'm just going crazy. Does an 11 knowledge check tell me a, if I've heard any stories about undersea dragons? Sadly, no. I you, will check because my family might have told this story. Go for it. <laughs> eh, 15. That was a sea dragon. Now, are these stories scary stories or happy <laughs> stories? Very fucking scary. <laughs> you see Wake turn a little pale. <laughs> I mean, you could still enter in through the cave. It looks like it's small enough to fit a person in there. The closer you get to it, you actually feel that there's like a current trying to suck you in. Just... Not, not terribly diff- Like, from where you are... Like, it feels like it's inhaling water, sort of. But yes. Like, a gentle current. Yeah. It's a gentle current. One getting that clo- I would not struggle to swim against. Yeah, getting, getting closer to it, that might cause a problem. But where you are now, it's a gentle current. My problem is I have no guarantee that this leads to In. inside the bubble. And I don't want to tell, yeah, go for it. <laughs> so I have to experiment. You're going to go inside? I am going to get closer to that hole. Now, this is not the hole that the dragon swam into. No, no. Okay. You, you are not going anywhere near where the dragon swam into. Cool. Long as we're clear on that one. <laughs> you, I don't, will... you don't know if it connects to it. I don't, <laughs> but I have a job. So you head over to uh, where the current is kind of pulling you in. It gets a little bit more, like, difficult. Not difficult, but, like, you just feel like the current's getting harder. I could, I could swim against it, but it feels like any, you know, no, normal they, person. They, they could, too, as well. Okay, but it's it would kind be more of like, difficult. It's kind of like what happens when you put a vacuum cleaner to your arm and you feel the suction. Gotcha. Okay. You peer off to the side, and you look into the tunnel, and you see that there there's a little bit of where the barrier still is. Water's trickling in, almost making a small waterfall that leads downwards. This is an entryway, but it looks like there's still a barrier that kind of like is a little bit of a push, but water is actually giving way, so that leads a little bit more. Water's getting into this barrier, okay? I swim over to it and just see if I can get my arm through that barrier. You could. Okay, this barrier's got in holes and out holes. (laughs) Maybe. (laughs) All right, so now that I've done that, I, I, I show with the scrying orb, I put it in and out and give kind of a thumbs up. Roll dexterity, uh, roll acrobatics real quick. Okie dokie. Uh, 19. You almost felt the current suck the scrying orb with it. <laughs> so, like a lost... Whoop, tink, tink, tink. <laughs> Pretty much. So does this just look like an easier way into the barrier? Is that what I'm getting? I give a thumbs up. And I proceed out of the hole. A few... few like, a couple... Like, maybe a hundred yards back. So based on what you... Yeah, based on Away what from found. the dragon hole. But based, based on what you found, you found two entry points. One's going to be a little bit hard to try and push through 
However, the other one is going into a tunnel system that also houses a blue dragon. A sea dragon. Yep. All right, I swim basically straight up, kind of taking my time, letting the pressure get away from me. You feel that with the bathysphere that Gore gave you, they can be absolutely fine. Until they get in the water. <laughs> yeah, getting in the water, that, like, will have to do, like, con saves and shit. But All beyond right. that, like, they, they will still be okay. Yeah, I, I swim up and out of the water from, like, pretty much straight down from where the entrance is. All right, so... And on my way up, I let out my little jellyfish friend. <laughs> While we're still in the abyss, so it can be in its natural habitat. All right. Uh, uh, I pop up, up out of the water and just kind of wave to the Yeldon from however many hundred feet away I am. Yeah, you guys watch as now as uh, Wake is like 350 feet away from where you guys last saw him dive down. So you re you uh, move the ship over, reconvene, <coughs> and based on where you are, you are now parked on top of this thing. Okay. All right, it's straight down from there. It looks pretty easy to get in, but uh, I don't know. Did any of you get a good view inside there? There might be a bit of a drop. Yeah, going up from the surface. Uh, like I meant when I put my hand through the uh, hole. Oh, when you, when, you, when you put your hand through the hole? In yeah. Yeah, is there is there like a drop? or is It looked it like, like there was a drop. Okay. But you can't tell from like from that size, but you could tell that there was like a waterfall and another body of water underneath where it's all pooling together. All right. Yeah, so there's probably going to be a bit of a drop in through that way, but it's probably all right. It's probably not shallow. <laughs> oh, yeah, Red's just like, yeah, you know, we're just going into a tunnel system with a sea dragon in it. Yeah, yeah. All we have to do is avoid that dragon. I mean, we, we don't know if these tunnels lead right to it. <sighs> but it seems pretty close to the, uh, to you know, the big underwater, like, barrier kingdom he found, so... Probably. Also, by the way, when you were swimming up, uh, the barrier kept going for, like, at least a couple of hundred feet swimming upwards. If you went in through the ceiling, that's like falling from the atmosphere to hit the ground. That's like jumping off. That's like skydiving. And even I wouldn't survive that one. No, you would not. <laughs> Entering from the top is a bad idea. We should not go in that way. Even if you did... Understand. If you could find a structurally... Uh, a not structurally sound entry point from the ceiling, that would be a bad idea. Unless parachutes. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> what if we put the ship's anchor and just climb down the chain? Ah. That depends on how far down that chain goes. Yeah, we need a lot of chain for this. <laughs> like, we're already going down way deep. Yep. So who are you? Uh, so... Um, you so said it's we time can, to start loading the bathysphere. Fit, you said we can fit six people in the bathysphere, right? Yes. So, Ca you two. Caster and Barabbas automatically take up two. Yes. Yep. And you two take up two. Yeah. So that's uh, four. I definitely think Red should go. Yep. Because she's the one that can cast water breathing. Yes. Yep. And also seems like a lot of arcane stuff down here, and she would be knowledgeable with that. So who else will you take with you? All right. Um, Nedra for some muscle, maybe. Net, having muscle is very good, and having Nedra with us is very good in general. Onslow might be good, because yeah. he's good at hunting big things, and if we get attacked by large things, he's... Yeah, Onslow just, like, you just watch Onslow is now just sitting there sharpening a machete, just like, uh, oh boy, gonna hunt me a dragon. Yeah, and, we're going, and we're going to need a doctor, so red, or uh, wrist. wrist. Well, I, I was saying wrist for a translator, since those guys are... Speaking mm. Underdark as well. Speaking Underdark. It's, 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 it's a twofer. Yeah. He can heal people, and he can speak to the whatever we found. Yep. So, yeah, that's, that's so our... So, that means leaving behind Ziaka? Leaving behind Ziaka and... Oh, my Onslow. God. No, Onslow's coming with us. Wow, is it just Ziaka that's... Well, Poor Ziaka. Well, wait a minute. We've got six slots in the bathosphere, right? Yeah, and you, you got Cash Barabbas... Ezra and Eloy, so and that means we have four, which uh, so far is taken up by Red, Nedra, Onslow, and Risk. Do your, do that math again. Barabbas. Barabbas, Caster. Caster. The two of us, that's, so that's four. four. So we can only bring two more. Oh, people. we can only bring two more. Yeah. You're right. So I think Risk and Red are the two yeah. most important. I, I, I would like to have Nedra and Onslow I down would, there. Yeah, I'd really like to have them too, but Risk and Red make mm -hmm. the most sense. 
Barabbas yeah. kind of covers our muscle quota. If you, I, base, okay, if you can, yeah. sorry, sorry, my math was no, bad. that's fine. It's all good. Well, here's the thing. <laughs> my yeah, counting was. I bad. was getting. I was just making sure too. I wasn't the one. <laughs> yeah, I, I was a little crazy there too. I'm just like, wait a fucking second. I built this to be something like this, and even I'm confused now. <laughs> there was all supposed right. to be a choice here. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so I'm gonna leave uh, Nedra with uh, another small assignment, another small writing assignment, basically. Okay. Yel Yeldon's like. I can teach her ABCs. <laughs> yes, keep keep helping her with that, and a, I'll <laughs> say it like that. A, it makes ah noises. There's Ned, <laughs> there's Nedra. I no. close, not quite. You watch you, had it you watch as one of the, the the rafters like little ropes just go. No, <laughs> do it again. A here, uh, good. Right. And Grammy will be there for lunch. <laughs> and it, of course. It will be there. <laughs> Don't kill it. No promises. Promise me. <laughs> mm. What's it to you? It is a very important member of this community. And that's important to me. Why? Because I'm the one that finds ingredients for you. It would make me persuasion. It would make me very sad if it disappeared. Persuading Grammy seems like a difficult prospect. Fourteen. Here's a barrel. Here's her. <laughs> Slides behind the barrel. Back in. <laughs> yeah. You can have this dog. I'm not even sure if I like it. <laughs> That's right. You only got a dog. <laughs> Centaurs don't keep dogs as pets. He's not <laughs> sure what to do with this thing. <laughs> Barf! <laughs> Puts it in the cloak. <laughs> I can only imagine what the chat is saying right now. <laughs> easy come, easy go. <laughs> It's We've already got it. We don't need more pets. It's it's it's, fl it's flooded with dog emotes. <laughs> yeah, I'm. I actually have to use the restroom real quick. So right. do you mind if we take a small break? Yeah, sure. Works for me. We're about ready to go down into yep. the depths, and we'll see you guys after this. Hello, wonders, and welcome back to the table. We're about ready to head under. The water, and that is always a good sign. Under the what? What? Oh, no, no, it's fine. I was just, uh, you know, checking out some fun little cool things. Might be cool. Might be cool. I, I figured you have most of these planned. <laughs> oh, I do. I do. But uh, I have contingencies as well. Excellent. Let's... Contingencies. Yes, that's a good way to put it. Okay. Excellent. So, uh, you guys are getting ready to prep into the diving bell. Uh, did I just say that wrong? I'm sorry. Diving J bell. Jump in the yeah. diving bell, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So. The bath of spell. Yep, bath of spell. There you go. You bring in all. Uh, so, Barabbas, Caster. Uh, Barabbas, Caster, Eloy, Ezra, Red, and Risk will be riding in the bathosphere. Yeah. Red and Risk. Very well. Yeah. Ah, he's pulled out the tokens. Red and Risf are here. Our friends. With us. Risf's happy Rabbis little face is like one of my and favorites. Caster? Ah, oh, okay. And uh, if you guys want to get your tokens. Where's my guy? I think mine's somewhere over there with you. Mm. Uh oh. Hmm. Because well, I was because I was here's, using here's them last dab, time. Here's Dab right. Dabzra. That's not Dabzra. That's not Dabzra. But it's 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 fine. But it, but it works. So, something to hold yeah. on to for now anyway. It's okay. The one I was using last time was just uh, the monk that was just holding the staff on one yeah, foot. Yeah, and I. Oh, here's the monk with the staff. Well, this is a female one here. That's fine. One. Wake slender. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Do I have enough tokens? Yeah, sure. That works. I. Sure do have some tokens. There are a couple on this side too. Yeah. Do uh, you mind if I just grab those actually? Because again, we're dungeon crawling boys. I was using those for pillars. All right. So 
I'm gonna say, for the sake of just making sure we are all on the same page, mm -hmm. this is the entry point to the uh, to the you, tower. Um, yeah, yeah. See right, that circle right there? That's the inside of the tower. You are not in there just yeah, that's, yet. Yeah, that's not where we're at. That's not where we're entering. That that is what you can either enter through there, or it's going to be entering through here. That's the tunnel. Well, I think we're entering through the tunnel since yeah. that's the easiest one where people won't have to drag Fight their way, way scrap their. I, God help me trying to get both like anybody with a minus or zero strength modifier. Through that, that would be me. Yep. I ain't got no strong. I guess all you could right. tie a rope around me and just yank me in, but that so seems counterintuitive. Everyone's kind of like all sitting down in a little like circle. You, however, is there like a little bench going around the inside of it or something? Pretty much. Oh, that's cute. It's like when you're sitting inside like one of those, uh, you know, like the roller coasters where you're sitting in a seat and like it's an enclosed space, and then when it opens up, you just drop. That's kind yeah. of like how you're sitting. Okay. I'm glad that when we say that this only fits six people, that. Eloy with his extra hind quarters does not take up like he's probably two hanging seats. on. That, that's why I accounted for e that's why I accounted for Eloy. If, if if unfortunately Eloy's kind of a big boy and he takes up a little bit too much space on that one. Yeah, I mean I, I luckily Risp makes up for it. Yeah. Yeah. If if we were trying to have Nedra down here with us, all yeah. nine feet of her, it might get a little cramped. You did say six people comfortably, so if we needed to squeeze, I suppose yeah. we could. But yeah, but the fact that Risp is in here now. Like, you being there, you take up two spaces, but Rifts can just, like, hit chill out on your back. Yep. Uh, all right. So, you have descended down dive, pretty dive, far. Dive. Yeah, you, di you dive down pretty far. I'm you actually notice yeah, that I'm, I'm holding on to the rope, just kind of, like, guiding it so that they don't get trapped on the bottom. That's fair. You, uh... Start to notice that as you're dropping, you're actually... Like, everyone can see outside windows now. Like, they're pressurized windows. You're now seeing the bioluminescence of the shielding and what little etches of the castle that are in there that's in there. Uh, everyone, except for you, you two are going to have disadvantage on this. Roll perception. Well, don't need to roll that twice. <laughs> uh, it's a 19. 19? Keep forgetting if perception's wisdom or not. This is the biggest damn lake I ever did see. <laughs> <laughs> you uh, you actually noticed that there, like, off in the distance, you couldn't quite tell if it was a person, but you saw the silhouette of a couple of humanoids kind of, like, racing off in the, where the side of the mountain kind of ebbs into the shielding. Mm -hmm. There's, like, a little pathway that leads up to the castle. And there are creatures scrambling, like humanoid creatures scrambling on the street where where it leads to the castle, and they disappear behind buildings. Oh, well, I'm not going to yeah. tap the window or else I get electrocuted. Yeah. Well, no, that's not active. It has oh, to be it's activated. not activated? I tap on the window, and I point out, like, the... Uh, you guys, unfortunately, are... Fleeing like, specs. Everyone yeah. inside is re it's really difficult to see. All right, has... Uh, <laughs> What are you guys talking about on our way down? I was going to say. It's going to be a while. I was yeah. going to say. I, I look over. I don't know yeah, how our seating arrangement is, but I look over to Caster. So how deep underwater you ever been before? Never. <laughs> oh, well. You've, his, you've he's, very, the, he's very calm and collective about this, actually. You have entered the splash zone, my friend. I hope you're not wearing anything you can't was get wet. Was that a pun? No, it's just a fact. We're <laughs> going to get wet. <laughs> Surrounded by clowns. Uh, that's kind of what happens when you travel with a would-be circus. <laughs> nah, Scrung went over and did a different thing. <laughs> Scrung off where in the distance, like tying up a kid. Ah, I heard him! <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> he <just> sneezes. Okay. <laughs> uh, you look over and see uh, Red's not doing too hot. Do we need to slow down? She, she's Everything looking a okay? little antsy. She's, uh, there's a lot of anxiety in that expression of her as she's sitting down, like, with her hands in her lap, just like, hmm, okay, mm-hmm. Not a fan of close, like, closed-up spaces, Red? No. That's all right. This is bringing up a, 
little bit of a painful, painful, pain, painful idea, but I will, I will, I will press on. It is my duty. Can I help you out with some music? That probably Suit be a good song? idea. Just take your mind off of it, if you must. I mean, I don't. I'll just try it. <laughs> Some traveling music by Eloy. Hey, natural one spits in his flute and just <laughs> oxalugi right in his The entire acoustics just. <laughs> ah, I've never tried to do that in the middle of one of these things. I think I will spend some time practicing on my own before I try it again. So not I, this trip. Hold on. You've made her more uncomfortable. Yeah, you just, you just everyone just <laughs> hears this sharp, like fucking microphone pitching sound effect under the. For, some, Oh my Christ, for four points of damage. What? Wow. The echo reverberates so loud in this thing. Just want you to know, Eloy, I've been attacked with weapons and hurt less. <laughs> <laughs> Silver line, and we're going to find us a way to weaponize this. Well, unfortunately now, Red looks like she's about to have a heart attack. I cast friends on her. <laughs> That's that's somatic and material only. No verbal component. No auditory component whatsoever. Just to calm her down. Is that is that a cantrip? Yep, it's a okay. cantrip. Okay, it's, it's okay. at will. Yeah, just to like tap her on the shoulder. There, there. It's okay. Yeah, yeah there, 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 there. She's just like biting her bottom of her lip. She doesn't look. She doesn't look like her her heart's about to burst out of her chest, but she's still not okay. <laughs> Risp, at this point, is just sitting in silence, like in a fo like folding his legs, like talking in prayer to himself. Is he praying to Kelpie? He's praying to everyone. He's praying to Kelpie. <laughs> We're in the water. <laughs> it's real deep. He's at his mercy now. <laughs> he has to cover all of his bases. Mm. Kelpie, oh, thank you. I'm sorry, Udoth. I, I didn't mean to offend you as well. You have very nice looks outside the window. Land. <laughs> Land forms growing on down here. Spires. Spires. I mean, this is probably as friendly as Kelpie and Udoth ever get. Oh, I wouldn't want to be in front of one when their factions go against each other, or even if their alkalites go against each other. That's the one thing I was very deadly afraid, though, of when we were back at the uh, when we were back at uh, Bullcard. I was afraid that if someone did activate the heart, if someone who was more in line with Kelpie would take notice and be on the scene. Well, hopefully we can get that back to where it belongs before anything like that can happen. Risp looks outside the window as you guys are descending just a little bit towards the base now. He's gonna roll investigation. Shit, nat 20. He looks outside. He, like, looks... He start. He, like... Has like a little pamphlet that's like strapped to the side of him. It's almost like etched into his clothing. He kind of like lifts it up and starts reading through it. I thought I saw a symbol of Udarius. This deep underwater? I know it sounds strange, but I've read these scriptures far too much to not know that that was an etching. And it wasn't like on one of the houses that seems to have just been submerged at some point. This was just on the on the stone itself. He couldn't really tell. Like he he just like it flashed by so fast. He's like, wait, no, fuck off. What did I just see? So you guys have finally reached the bottom. You're not just touching the bottom of the surface just yet. You're kind of like dangling just about. So it's probably gonna be. Yeah. A as good as we get near, I like tug the rope twice just to say, okay, stop. Yeah. So. The diving bell has now completely stopped. You look outside, there's the two towers in between, and on the other side is the uh, stone where the tunnel is. And wait, just going, ta-da. <laughs> yeah, you like just pop your head up from underneath the, the little like water side. <gasps> Act like I've been holding my breath this entire time. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're here. All right, so. How, like, so Barabbas just sits there, all right, well, then what's the course of action for us to getting to this tunnel? Well, it's right over that way. Just got to swim right in. Uh, luckily, there's a current that'll pull you once you get close enough. What's the pressure like down here? Not great. 
Okay. Not gonna lie, sticking my head in here kind of feels like I'm really lightheaded right now. <laughs> feels like. <laughs> feels like I'm. <laughs> Good night. I'm back. Yeah, well, he's I'm, dead. I'm thinking maybe maybe wake you go in first and and bring a rope with you, and that way if we get knocked unconscious by the pressure, you can just kind of tow us in. Worst comes to worst. How much rope do you guys have on? I you? have thirty feet of rope on me. I got fifty. Fifty. Do you have rope? It's used to tie my spear to my person. I am not using it for anything else when I'm underwater. All right, let me roll and see if anyone else prepared. Barabbas, you son of a bitch. A <laughs> uh, hundred feet of rope. Hey. hey. Red has no rope. Risp has no rope. Caster has no rope. So we Just have... Just enough to hang us. 180 feet of rope between us, which in that theory may... might make it to the area, I guess. It'll make it to the... Uh, unfortunately, it'll make it to the tunnel, but it won't go any further. Oh. Man, I thought I, thought I like designated us like, hey, look... I'm over here, bring the ship over here, bring it like close to the tunnel. Right, but with your swim speed and being able to like turn corners and shit like that, you are way faster and way more maneuverable down here. True. Especially with Eloy. True. This is gonna be uh this is gonna be at least a con save trek. For them? Is, yeah, for them. Unless they get well. How many times could we possibly get water breathing cast on people? Like, w what level spell is if that? You're, if you're all in the same vicinity, I'm going to be nice and say that since you're inside the bathysphere, if you cast it, everyone's getting it. Everyone yeah, in well, this room gets what, it. Water breathing affects up to ten people. Oh, okay. Yeah. Never mind then. It's it's a third level spell, so it's real good. Ooh, that's I was expensive. I was looking that up during break to see what my, what my scroll of water and breathing is. And either Red or Eloy can cast it. Yeah. Okay. So you want to pop that? I mean, if that's that—that that was the plan for bringing Red along. Although that is blowing a whole third-level spell on this. Yeah, it, it does last for 24 hours. So unless we're staying down here a long time, that'll so cover us on the way back your up. Your scroll too. would actually probably cover us for that then. Yeah, I mean, if either. you, you don't want to, like, if you don't want to use it for here though, you can yeah. keep holding on to it. Well, remember, uh, you guys do have the option of you. you this is a two-day adventure for you guys having to do this. Ah, you didn't even you barely started the first day. You're now at like 12 p.m. in the afternoon on the first day. Yeah. The other thing is that if uh, if I use my scroll of water breathing, that makes red our only way back up. Like, if anything happens to her, we're kind of screwed. I was hoping we'd be trying to avoid that to begin with. Well, uh, yeah, 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 I guess wish in one hand, but... Yeah, I think, All right, so I, I think having red cast, it's probably best. If we're going to be camping there overnight, she'll get a third level spell slot back anyway. Yeah. yeah. All right. So and plus she has arcane recovery. Oh, well there you go. That's where you get a, you get spell slots back on a short rest. Yep. But that's okay. only at half. Oh, half rounded up. Correct. Yeah. Never mind. So and she's level five. Gotcha. So. Okay. Uh, with that, she casts. Uh, she begins to. Uh, uh, Actually, like ooh. Water breathing can be cast as a ritual, so it wouldn't take up the spell slot. This is true. It takes an extra 10 minutes, but we can burn 10 We're, minutes. Yeah, I have no problem with that. Yep. So Works long for me. as you guys are willing to sit inside the bathysphere for, for longer. Wake's just going to swim around down there and acclimate himself to the pressure. However, you are asking Red, the person who is kind of having a small panic attack, to cast a concentration spell. So let's see if that works. <laughs> I have alcohol. <laughs> I do have a fine bottle of wine on me. Oh boy, Red can't concentrate. Worth shit. Would a raptor sex bomb help in any way? <laughs> <laughs> we have just been I don't think so. One day that will be useful again. One day. I will. I will give her one more chance. She. Uh, she uh, Hold on. Does, uh, before before that, does anybody have anything that might help her concentrate? Um, uh, I can pray. Or at least calm her, her down. Her Two gallons of mayonnaise. <laughs> <laughs> you, can make, you can make beer. <laughs> Calm or just like you know, a couple of sips of alcohol, calm them. A gallon nerves. of wine for four gallons of beer. I mean, she'll if if she if you are going to give her a drink from the alchemy jug, she will suggest red wine. Well, if that if that's if that's what you like, pick absolutely pick your poison. I will go ahead and create. You say poison, it makes poison. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. <laughs> yes. Hey Ezra. Yes. Roll of persuasion. Uh, 
not the best, but uh, 17. It's wine. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry you said that out loud. I'm just like, oh, no! <laughs> drink, 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 drink. It's pretty good. Here you go. Uh, I, I I now she have just, a. She just grabs it. I now have a gallon of red chug, wine for chug, me. Whoa! Chug, she chug, starts chug, chugging. Chug, chug. I'm popping <laughs> out of the water. <laughs> we could have passed it around a little bit, but hey, you know what? You're 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 the guest in this. Uh, you're you're the one needing the concentration. Thank you. Nat twenty. Hey, hey. it worked. <laughs> liquid courage. Yep, liquid courage indeed. Red just goes. All right, I I uh I leave the alchemy jug on the diving bell since it takes 24 hours to get its use back anyway, and I don't want to risk something. She didn't, she didn't drink it. the whole gallon, did she? No, it, she didn't drink the whole gallon. All right, wake, wake's gonna. gonna I was gonna I was gonna say I, I I you know pass it around to everybody if anyone wants a sip. <laughs> Barabbas just goes. There you go. Hmm. Stuff. Figure if we're gonna make it, we might as well make use of it. Mr. Caster, would you like any uh like any wine from my jug? It's <laughs> 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 the freezer. <laughs> I assure you it's you want fine. something from my jug? <laughs> I promise I ain't got no backwash. <laughs> 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 we're all clean folk down here. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Just I'm just going to make three X's on my alchemy <laughs> chuck. While we're waiting for uh, Red to ritual cast this, I'm going to use my cartographer's kit just to... Uh, Start writing it out? Yeah, like m making a small map of the area of everything that I've seen down here of this, like, city graveyard. Sounds good to me. Uh, actually, I'm going to make this a little bit more fun for you. Now that you want to do that, we're going to make this a little bit more interactive. Oh, Ooh. fun. Interactive map ma making, maybe. Begin. Ooh. Hey. Okay. All right. So Caster takes the jug, even though you saw a little tan scaled hand kind of reach up for it. <laughs> Don't worry, Risk. You'll get your chance. He like pulls out his own cup and starts drinking it. He looks over down at Risk. Hey. <laughs> Drink it Nope. Oh no. Well, here, Risk. Even though he was, uh, you know, though he is our guest, I still think that doesn't make him above manners. But can't be helped. So I just kind of reach into my pack. I also have a bottle of fine wine on me. Here you go, Risk. Some on me. His yeah. eyes turn a different color. Oh. <laughs> Y you like it? His eyes start turning like this very, very nice, like this weird, like very soothing crimson. Well, I've heard certain kinds of wines interact weird with godly folk. Hmm. Yep. You just gave Riss a plus two to his intelligence. Hey. Ooh. Well, there you go, fella. I just, you know, Wanted to make sure everybody in here got a share if they wanted it. Cork up my bottle of wine. I'll add just like a little mark by it to say that it's yep. at least been drunk from it once. Yep, you have a quarter. It was only a quarter of it. So you probably have two good swings of it to get the full effect. Okay. So that gives you a plus, uh, plus, what did I say, two? I apologize. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. two to yeah, intelligence. Yeah, a plus two to intelligence <laughs> temporarily. Okay. And with that... Sorry. Uh, with that, red has given you all the ability to breathe underwater. All right. Well, with the ritual done, I think we're we're ready to head out whenever we can. So, who's gonna brave it first? As the captain, I feel it is my duty to test these waters. <laughs> I stick my like after I'm done <laughs> drawing, I like stick my arm back up after I've rolled up Sca my scroll and Scaffy popped it into the. Uh, Scappy kind of just like sits on your shoulder, and goes. <laughs> I high five him. No, no. <laughs> no! <laughs> One day you'll find a use. Scaffy! Yeah, basically while I was drawing, I was just like leaning up on the bench. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
<laughs> and I just pop back in the water after I rolled it up and put it back in my map tube. Right on. So Scaffy, uh, Scaffy goes. <laughs> just crawls in on me. Yep. All right, Scaffy, I'll try and keep you safe, buddy. All right, Wake, lead lead the way. I lead the way. Do you do you want to do the rope plan or do you want to? Oh uh, yeah, I I think if you've tied the ropes together, then I will. Yeah, yeah, we've we've tied. I I feel like we basically tied the rope to. Yeah, if it if it won't reach all the way through the tunnel, then maybe just roping us to each other would be the safest plan. So if do we all want to go then? Uh, doing a buddy system thing wouldn't be such a bad idea either. So if you guys want to do that, then you can do that. All right. I'll be up. Well, Wake will be up front front, but I, I will be in front of our party. Okay. And then just basically offer the rope to whoever wants to go after me. After you, uh, Barabbas will take. Then Caster will go after Barabbas because he wants to stay near his bodyguard. Mm -hmm. After that. Oh, by the way, everyone's like kind of like getting ready to dive. So they're like taking off all their excess clothes and shit. So they're all, like, Red's jacket's gone, Riff's turban is kind of, like, his turban and his, uh, and his, like, cloak is now gone, so now it's just pretty much pants, like, top-heavy clothes, like, yep. top-protecting clothing. Pants and undershirts for just about everybody. Yep. Hey, wait, you got that waterproof, uh, map case, right? I, yeah. Can, can you tuck this scroll of water breathing into there? It would have been really silly if our scroll of water breathing had been water damaged. Yeah, I'm sure that being magical, the scroll wouldn't be damaged by water, but Probably. I'll do it anyway for you. Just to be safe. You don't know. You're looking at me like I'm going to give you the answer. <laughs> Eli sure doesn't know. <laughs> <laughs> Sunk in there in the uh, map box. Congratulations, your map, your map tube can now breathe underwater. <laughs> All right, so... You guys are going to start heading over, roll a, uh, for those of you who are not swimming inclined, roll me an athletics. Oh, man. Do they need to do any con stuff for messing with the pressure? Nope, water breathing uh, negated that. Oh, oh awesome. nice. Nine. Five. Hmm. Okay. Uh... So, <laughs> some of you just kind of start floating. No, so, yeah, so as you start going out near the tunnel, you're just like, okay, guys, it's time to get ready. You're watching as, like, <laughs> like just flipping watch around. Ezra flipping the fuck out, like, up and down. Like, oh! I'm, an extra, I'm an expert swimmer. I'm just going to just go, <laughs> turn him straight up. Before that, he's got to take damage for that. Damage. Four points of damage right. for, for hitting the rocks. That's almost, that's just as bad as hearing your music. So after like being like slammed around like a pinball, you just grab him, turn him to the side, and the pressure's like just fine. Like he can now swim through. You're going to have to get rid of the rope first to get through there. Get rid of the rope? He's going to have to untie himself. Oh. Just start untying it and just <laughs> let it go. Basically, hold up my piece of the rope and just try to hand it to Barabbas. So it, roll athletics again. So he's just got to, so it's not just flailing around. Because it would be nice to keep some of that if we can. Hey, two. Here you go. <laughs> <laughs> just go get, does he get sucked into the? Yeah, he just got sucked into the hole. <laughs> I'm okay. going to leave that. I was going to say. <laughs> I, I, just, I just look back. He's in. Next. <laughs> it's just the guy at the top of Barabbas, the water Barabbas slide. will attempt now. Like a fucking boss. <laughs> you wouldn't know he wasn't a water bird. <laughs> Caster. <laughs> we, I, I, I okay, yeah, I push him when he's going through. <laughs> <laughs> I warned him. So... Told him over and over All again. All right, let me just... <laughs> Reiterated as much as I could. So you do he, not have to He come. just crashed five times into the tunnel. Back of the head, front of the head. Back of the head, front of the head. Back of the head, in the tunnel. Wake's chuckling to himself. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
Red's turn. I help her. <laughs> like, I untie her and I, like, gently, like, let her... Do I need to roll anything to attempt to help nah, her? Nah, she's fine, though. Okay. You, with your assistance, she, like... She's able to go in like Barabbas did, feet, feet first in, like, in uh, like a water tube. I will also help Risp. Yeah, Risp is going to need that help. All right, what do you want me to roll for Risp? Oh, wait, no, never mind. I was about to say, he was going to need that help, but he rolled high enough that even with his negative points, he made it through. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you, he just, he, we watch him go, but then, like, because of the current of the water. Whoa! <laughs> and last I guess that least. leaves Eloy. This is an athletics. Yep. Uh, nine. I will assist Eloy. Do you want me athletics? No, I need you to. Oh, oh. Help. I apologize. Uh, let me just double check something here real quick. Sleight of hand. Sleight of hand. Oh, that's even better for me actually. Um, I guess I'll use this roll. It doesn't really matter. Do 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 do. Fifteen or sixteen. Okay, so. If you went in as you were, you would have went in ass first and clogged the tunnel. <laughs> yes, I know what I said. All right. His ass side would have gone first. Yeah. Donkey side. But it is it is a little difficult. Like he does he does go in front first, but he does get stuck. So he oh. we, we're having a Winnie the Pooh scenario right now with him stuck in the tunnel. All right. I, I'm just gonna like jiggle him like. It's you're, we just uh, tuck in your legs a little. You're not gonna draw a face on him first. <laughs> I can't. You can't draw underwater. <laughs> That's why I had to go up uh, above water in order to do my mapness. <laughs> Unless I have a magic pen. Roll athletics. All right. Uh, athletics. Do, 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 do. Fourteen. Fourteen. Wow. <laughs> 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 Whee! All right. So you're falling. You fall 20 feet <laughs> right into some water. How deep? That's a good question. I have a feeling I didn't do I didn't do very hot on that uh, athletics check, so I have a feeling oh, I'm not God. feeling great. Mm, he fell in a spot that it's only 10 feet deep. So deep enough that like I do get cushioned a little bit by the water. But, but not too much. Into the ground I go. This is not an area where you would be diving. <laughs> no, but unfortunately he just dove head first. I'm going to roll that damage real quick. Ezra, not having a great day. Uh, off to a bad start. Good thing I brought five healing potions. Oh, fuck. I got max damage on a D10. Ooh. Makes it easier to act. Next is Barabbas. Roll a 1d6 on him. Officially under half health. If we've yet to have my six. Oh, here it is. Sorry. All the rest of them are coming. I, I uh, sip a 20 feet. Potion. He fell in a spot where it's negated. Uh, Caster. Hey! Uh after, after his nat one. No, 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 no! <laughs> nah, he fell in 30 feet, but he skipped over the surface like a stone. <laughs> oh. I just imagine since he's... Uh, as, you watch him, as you watch him get up, there's like sea urchins covered on his face. Oh. I, I, ima I imagine as he hits the water, like it's sizzling too, since he's... Azamar. Yeah. Yep. Next is... I believe it was red. It was red. Let me roll for her. And she did fine on her. She, oh wait, no, it was Barabbas. Did oh, I did... Bra yeah, Bar no, you said Oh, I did Barabbas, yeah. I did Barabbas, yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah, he got negated. Uh, Red finds a good spot, like where Caster landed, and was able to negate the uh, fall damage. Okay. Riss, no. Poor boy. Riss just hits a fucking stone. How? Oh. Ah! <laughs> For one point of damage, though. So he caught the rock and then. Yeah, he fell caught backwards. the rock, but it slipped and like ripped his hand open. Ow. Ow! What am I rolling? Uh, I you rolled. You rolled already. I got to roll to see how far you dive. Ah, okay. You have thirty feet, considering how big you were. 
it actually negates it, so you take no damage. Woo. Now it's your turn. All right, what do you want me to roll? I need you to roll me a athletics. Do I get advantage for being naturally underwater? Mm, yeah, sure, why not? doesn't matter, I rolled an 18. I'm sure it's fine. Yeah, you're fine, but I have to roll to see how far you dive down. Gotcha. Oh, no, you fall right with Slow wrist. fall. You... F- <laughs> mm. I'm a monk. Is that a reaction? Uh, yes. All right, so where wrist was falling... <laughs> like fairy godmother style. <laughs> I'm Mary Poppins, y'all. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. I reduce my falling damage by five times my monk level. So if I take anything below, or so if I, I if I'm taking anything over twenty five damage, I'll take damage. Yeah. But no, you you just gently glide on down. Yeah. Yeah. I just like grab the wall. Well, here's the best. Here's the good part. You guys found a way in. That's a waterfall. Getting back out is going to be a fun uh, fun time. Fact is, I know, at least I know sort of of a way out, and I can kind of see in. So, hey, bonus. Guess we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Uh, right now, you are inside a cavern. Uh, a lot of jagged rocks. Uh, right now, the pool is just where the water's pouring in. It looks like it's flowing in elsewhere. So that's why this room's not over flooded with it. Mm. Uh... There is a pet you can see on the inside because you are seeing the bioluminescence of the shielding still around in the area, so it is lit up as of right now. Okay. Going through a tunnel, though, that will lose very quickly. All right. And uh, now I need to move the map real quick. Okay. Just for uh, you know, transparency's sake, I drank two po- uh, healing potions and ended up getting 16 health back, so now I'm only down two from my max. Well, I was, I was going to propose we... Uh, we see if this seems like a safe area where we might be able to take a short rest, because mm. quite a few people wound up taking damage there. You could. Well, if we do that, then I will, I will redact my. Zito my says potions. we could. Yeah. Then, then yeah, I'm I'm gonna float that option by the group. Like, you want to take five? Just take five. <laughs> Everybody, just take a little break. We just had a had a rough rough entry. All right. I'm just nursing my head wounds that I've taken on the way in. Yeah, it sounds like a good idea. All right, so you can take a short rest. Uh, I will allow half your dice pool uh, to get HP back. All right. And everybody does get plus 1d6. That's one of my bard abilities that hasn't come up often. Pretty sure that takes me back to full. You said half our dice pool? Yep. Yeah, I only took damage from my own ineptitude. So, like, so. round down how many dice rolls you have. So, two at that point. Mm-hmm. So two hit die. Yeah. Plus, plus 1d6. Uh, Risp is back up to full. Where's, there it is. Caster. It's an 8. Is fine. Plus. Yeah, I'm good. Yeah, yeah I'm everyone's back pretty back okay. All right, so now you guys are inside this cave. It's still, it's still light right now because of all the bioluminescence from the shielding, but there is a singular pathway in which you can go. I'm gonna fish out my my lantern and load it up with oil and light it up and hang it for my saddlebags. All right. So do you, that means, do you want to take point? Uh, yeah, I can do that. I'll be up front with uh, uh, Eloy. Well, looking at that tunnel, only one person can fit. I'll be directly time. behind Eloy. All right. Um, you want to be directly ahead of me? Is that I okay? mean, I'd be blocking the light from your lantern unless. Yeah. How about Here's the thing. I can I can maneuver around you unless there is something in your face. Barabbas looks to you all. If you are that cautious, then do you would you mind if I took front then? You want to take the lantern? By all means. He'll take it. He attaches it. He adds it to a small clip on his warhammer and holds it up. Well, uh I'm guessing Caster, Caster should be somewhere in the middle because if we get ambushed, it'd be best if he's not in combat. Yeah. Yeah. Best for him. <laughs> right, so he took many bumps on the way down. It was hilarious. <laughs> Who's taking uh, end then? Uh, if Barabbas is up front, then in theory I should be in the back because if we get, like, I should be the vanguard if we have our big guy up front. Okay. Yeah, and then I'll be in the middle with uh, Red and Risp. All right, so load it up. So, Ezra, you should be behind Barabbas because you'll be the one like spotting things. Yeah. 
This is gonna get a little uh, Tom fuckery, so let me just quickly do something. All right, doing something. All right, so I have it. Yeah, I'm Barabbas, chilling. me, Red, Caster, Eloy, Risk, you. Yep. Cool. All right, so go ahead and we'll move it till you get to here. Fog of war action happening. Yep, we got some fog of war stuff happening right now. All right, Barabbas lets you know that it looks like there are two paths to take. Uh, one to the left and one to the right. Ezra, what do your elf eyes see? <laughs> With my 60 feet of darkness, dark vision. Uh, Roll perception check. I cast dark vision and see 21 worth of whatever that would be. All right, I get to move the fog of war. You are currently in an, in an enclosed room. This looks like there were remnants of what looks like bodies. Uh, there's just skeletons all piled up in one side of the floor. Uh, most of them look humanoid. Uh, rolling, to, You can't tell what the other extra bones are. You might want to roll survival if you want to figure out what the uh, other bones are apart from the human parts. Looks like we got some bones. I'm seeing some humanoid looking things and... Ooh, uh, an 18 of investigation. Or er, you said survival. Survival. Oh, okay. survival. Uh, even better, uh, a 22 uh, of survival. A 22 of survival? There's some hooves in here. And there's, well, something that had hooves, at least at one point. Uh, you Are they minotaurs? I yell. You start, uh, well, you can move in if you want. Right. Barabbas will take front, though. So you want to move in that way? Yeah. Okay, so start moving people inside there. I don't think we're in any particular order anymore. But uh, I'm, I'm going to check. I'll do a survival check. I've met a Minotaur. Yeah. And it makes the... <laughs> uh, natural one. I, I don't Minotaurs know. Minotaurs don't bones. exist. <laughs> I've met one. Those aren't, those aren't real. I don't know. Uh, I Could be cows. Could be deers. <laughs> <laughs> Calliope, no! <laughs> Does a nine tell me anything? No bones about it. Them skellies are dead. That's good. That's very good. Now they aren't moving. Now that we're closer, I guess I can do another check to. Well, to you, I still didn't get to tell what. Oh, okay. Yeah, you got a twenty-two. Yeah, you I got like a twenty-two. Yours, You're yours able good. to find this out. So, you start moving around like the body, and just like, okay, well, obviously this must be crazy. Something must have ate a cow in here. That spinal cord is attached to the cow part. Hmm. Okay, so we've got like a human. I'm guessing a humanoid-looking spine. You got a human torso, and then cow and bottom. Into cow part. Uh, hey, Eloy. You're you're like half donkey man, right? Like, like you know, you're, he's you are, half donkey you're, man. You're, you're like a donkey and a man, right? Right. Do you have like I, I don't know? Have you ever heard of people like you? But they're like man and like cow or bovine. Well, you you, you you're I'm just saying cow is in like flavor text. You don't know. What, well, yeah, but like yeah, these right. look like different hooves from yours. Well, I do roll a nat twenty on whatever intelligence history, whatever check I would need to get to. Know so that. you know, based on living on Old Lady Big Rock Mountain, that there used to, you, you were part of the people who were up in the mountainsides. Yeah. You're you're a donkey man. Like the donkeys are completely different, even though people get that wrong all the time. This looks like one of them. there, horse people. Oh yeah, this this here's an equine centaur. Oh, he he's got a horse back in. Uh, do they like to do deep sea diving at some point? No. Not, not that I ever heard. They're more plains folk. Huh, so even being in a cave, if this was above ground, would or above water, would be strange. I mean, no stranger than me being here, I suppose. That's fair. I mean, they're, they are a nomadic folk. They like to travel. I never heard of one roaming this far, but I never heard of one of me roaming this far, neither. Uh, no one else has any earthly idea as to what's going on at this point. Can I do, like, a, would it be perception or investigation? Just, like, kind of look around the room and see if there was any sort of, like, hint as to how these bodies got here. Were they, sure. were they alive uh, at one point? Go and ahead and died roll. In here, or were they dragged? Yeah, roll investigation. I'll join him. Uh, 12. 12? I didn't get better than him, so go with his. I got a 7. Okay. Uh... There are claw marks on the walls that are clearly visible. Something must have brought these bodies in here. But looking, looking at this, 
pile of bones, like just touching them kind of like almost breaks them apart like it's ash in a way. These things have been here for way, way longer than they should have. It's just... So, by this logic, you can piece together that this entire place was a place where they stored bodies, but it's long been abandoned. We're either in a crypt or someone did a makeshift, uh, you know, body, like, you know, just body dumping here, and they've been here a while. Does it look like there's anything here with these bodies, like any sort of armor or... With these claw marks, this might also have been like a feeding place of some kind. Uh, let me go ahead and roll something real quick. Yeah, you find bits and pieces of scrap that almost look like that would show off like chest plate guarding or whatnot. Something that looks like it was part of like armor, but it's been torn apart and been here for so many years that like you could just barely tell that it's a chest. There's a chest plate here and there. But for the most part, there's like really like just eroded rags on most of these people. Whatever did this, I have a bad feeling about it. But hopefully, with, with if age is any indication, whatever did this probably died a long time ago. Yeah, I mean, if it is equine centaurs, I mean, Miss Red, just, they're not evil folk, but they're kind of the worst. <laughs> <laughs> they're going to get you to try to, they're going to try to get you to play beer pong with them. Just say no. He, she looks over at one of the skeletons, picks it up. I'll be sure to know about that next time, Eloy. <laughs> Head cannon, equine centaurs are dude bros. Okay. They're like the frat boys of centaurs. <laughs> Assholes. <laughs> no, that's his. <laughs> You're the one that's met him, you know. <laughs> oh, Ben, just throw my shit out the window, why don't you? <laughs> hey, that's just the tribe that Eloy knows. That doesn't mean it applies to all equine centaurs everywhere. That's fair. But they're the only <laughs> ones that he knows. Yep. So, yep. so if we that, ever make a trip to Old Lady Big Rock Mountain, yep. the equine centaurs. The dude time centaurs. That, that, is, that is what his impression of equine centaurs is. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so... You're still inside this room. You have bits and pieces in the metal. That's only looking in the bone pile. Mm -hmm. uh, there is another pathway that leads to the side. Uh, the one I'm by. Into it, yeah, the one by the one by you. All right, I guess we'll head in there in reverse order now. All right. This here. one, this room you enter is filled to burst with water. This is, it is like filled to burst with seawater. There are starfish all over the wall. There are some blind cave fish inside this like waist high pool of water. It's just, they all scatter when they, uh, when you get near. Uh, you do notice that the there are still, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> just like looking at it. Is this like an extra outlet for the waterfall if it ever floods through that tunnel at some point? Uh, you don't know just by looking at it from here. Yeah. However, you do notice that there are still those claw marks you saw from the previous room on the ceiling. Alright, uh, can I make a survival check to see if I can recognize what would make those claw marks? Uh, being sure. An, being an underwater creature, maybe I know other things that might... Uh, have, I'm going know. to say you would have to roll with disadvantage. Fair enough. I rolled 15 twice, so that would be a 21. 21? Okay, so through your encyclopedic knowledge of all things like Living. Aquin <laughs> and shit like that, gotcha. this is not anything aquatic. You've never seen these claw marks before. So, this is a land so even, even with a high roll, based on your knowledge of Aquin shit, this is not Aquin at all. Well, it ain't one of my kind. Risp is going to give it a go. With that intelligence, though, hot damn. Risp takes, takes a look at it, takes his claw, and kind of, like, traces it on it. It's obviously too small. Mm -hmm. It's obviously way smaller than what the claw mark is, but he races his hand across it to try to make the same marking and kind of, like, reads the width of it. Do any of you know of a creature known as a troglodyte? I've been called one of those a lot, but I never quite knowed what it means. Wake shakes his head. They're underdark lizard-like folk. I'm guessing that was metaphorical. Yes, Eloy. 
poor Risp is actually trying to like doggy paddle in the water right now. <laughs> it is far too big for him. You want to get up on my back, Risp? He does. Are they are they dangerous? Are they scavengers? What are we what are we looking at? Is this something that hunted these people down, or did it find their bodies and bring? I'm them going here? to assume that the troglodytes were the reason why we have those bodies back there. With all these claw marks around, it just reads that. But with that giant dragon you were talking about, there's no way they would be this close to it. Well, I don't see any other... Those corpses I mean, are pretty old, pretty old. Nothing says the troglodytes couldn't have lived here at one point, and then the dragon moved in and flushed them all out. Oh, well, in any case... I might be able to talk to them, but that m w I would say that's not a very good plan to fall back on. Diplomacy would probably be the last thing they would have in their. You know, when I did come, when I was trying to enter through the tower up there, I did hear a bunch of screaming, and you did say it was, well, Un your underdark. Tongue. Yeah. I, that's why I pieced it together. The scar mark was the last like nail in that coffin. And I saw a bunch of things while we were coming down here. Uh, I don't know if you saw it. I tried to point it out, but there were a lot of, well, looked like people running around inside this dome. Did they run on all fours? Roll intelligence. Seventeen? Uh, yeah, I think so. Yes, it's Trogs. All right. Are they we good swimmers? I have no idea. All I can tell you is, if we're inside a trog nest, we have to do our best to not engage them. If one sees us, the entire horde will see us. I look back at Caster, who is, does he glow since he's like made of fire? Are you sure you wanted to come along? <laughs> yes. All right then. There's no way you can like turn that off, is there? My divine light is a gift from the gods and you will accept it for what it is. Well, right now, it's a bit of a and, hazard. And, and Riff just sits there just like, oh, we're going to die. <laughs> well, not all of us. What was that? I was saying that we're going to protect you no matter what happens, so we'll probably die and you'll live. Hmm, that's what I thought. Yes, exactly. Bravis looks at you. Roll, <laughs> roll, uh, roll deception versus his insight. <laughs> Best stat. Okay, roll though. 15. You beat him out. Yeah. You beat him out. He, he just looks at you, just go, well, what do you mean, shift the eyes? <laughs> That's cryptic. That's cryptic. And Bravis is like, making, now with the knowledge that trogs are a problem, Bravis is just like, okay, well, now I need to like stone the fuck up a lot more than, than needed. Well, right, so uh, we, we have the one path ahead of us. It is, looks is like it's it, it underwater or? It's is... underwater. It looks like there's a path where the water is kind of like leading in Barabbas can feel the current kind of like press pushing against him right. that's where the water's coming from as I was coming in I assume I brought the long rope with me so uh, you didn't state that I didn't but you also just told me to roll the athletics check the ropes kind of still dangled to the bathosphere all right sorry well, yeah, we, I we, will... we did tie it to the bathosphere okay so. well that's fine then uh I'm going to scout ahead and see how long it is I tell everybody Wait, no, I'll be I right back. You, but never mind. All right, you head inside? Yep. All right, so one second. I mean, you all still have water breathing, so. Yeah. Yeah, which is fine, all things considered. <laughs> I'm just very fast underwater, so if I do run into anything problematic, I'll be right back. <laughs> Start packing more rope for these trips. Thirty would be would suffice seconds. any situation we needed it. More clams, or a giant thing. I'm gonna move cautiously. I'll say. <laughs> Sploosh. You are still underwater at this point. Yes. However, you see a rather large, dark, cerulean blue form through the surface of the water, kind of motion through a giant 
mound of what you could consider is gold. The entire room glistens with a bright, bright shine, and the shine is also reflecting off the creature as well. It has scales. It doesn't have wings, but it does have long flowing antenna kind of like going down its spinal cord. That's a sea dragon. One second. A lot of treasure. You are n under the water still. It has not no you. As far as you can tell, you haven't broken surface, so it hasn't noticed you yet. All right. It's been a while since we had a good old fashioned giant monster encounter. <laughs> I mean, this well. would be the other D in Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> I am going to try to, like, stealth my head out of the water just, like, very slowly. Roll stealth. That's the plan. It's one of my best stats. Let's see how it goes with a 23. One of the antenna that's on its back that kind of, like, wobbles a little bit, like, kind of like in an artificial wind, almost slaps you off the side of the head, but you, like, just slowly move to the side just enough it hasn't noticed you yet you can see it this is mm, for you to not know i unfortunately you only know that it's a dragon it's a straight up dragon but it's kind of small like when you think dragons you think apocalyptic titan sized creatures this one doesn't seem that big it fills up most of the cave but that's because it's kind of like like a cat sitting down and like munchkinning itself in like a little sitting position. It's, it's, yeah, it's it's bunned itself. Yeah. Gotcha. Uh, can I try to make a deduction to? You are where you're currently looking at. It, you're looking at its butt right now. You're pretty much looking at the dragon's behind. All right, I'm looking at the dragon's ass. I am going to try to deduce whether this is the same dragon that swam over me, like intelligence with disadvantage. All right. Thirteen. Yes. By looking oh. up at the ceiling, you can see that there's more water pouring in, and it looks like a giant gaping hole where the ceiling of the barrier is kind of like bringing in artificial light. Is that where the water we are currently swimming in is coming from? Yes. Okay. So I'm just like looking around. Um, I'm going to make a perception check just to see what kind of treasure we're dealing with here, like if I see anything okay. of immense value. All right. And... Actually, investigation. No. First, uh, okay, I'll, I'll make that investigation, but I think first and foremost in my brain, exit to this room <laughs> that is not That's directly a perception behind check. Me. Okay, yeah. So which are you rolling first? Uh, per the perception to find, like, a find way out. Find an exit, out. okay. Uh, I got a 15. So there's mounds of gold, but then you notice that, like, the gold has, like, a small little incline that goes down from your uh, from your line of sight. And the way the cave is mouth around because of the light coming off from the ceiling uh, barrier, you can tell that there's a tunnel that leads downwards just ahead of you. Past the dragon? Yep. Gotcha. But that's in the dragon's line of sight. Gotcha. All right. And now an investigation to see if I can see if anything of... I mean, obviously, there's a lot of value here because there's a dragon, but investigation to see if there's any, like, one thing in particular. Uh, 19. 19? Oh, wait, no. Uh, 17. Sorry, that was a 6. There is a suit of armor that looks like it's made of water itself. <laughs> but it is right that. next to the dragon's head. Everything else I, around I, it, you're <laughs> seeing... Very fancy pieces of artwork. You're looking at gold. You're looking at di their gemstones, diamonds, all kinds of pretty stones. All of them looking mostly like cerulean or something that looks like it may have come from like an ore from beneath the ocean. Uh, there are some weaponry here. However, you do notice that there is more of those giant great shields kind of adorned on the ceiling. Gotcha. He's a good decorating dragon. Yep. Um, 
Can I make a like a survival check? What would it be to see if I can discern whether this thing's like sleep pattern, like if its breathing pattern is like sleeping? Mm, survival check. Uh, it looks like it's nesting. Like that's that's all I can defer at the moment. Uh, you'd have to poke out of the water a lot more to see it. You're kind of there's like a lip of water. There's a lip of uh, land, and your head's down here. Can I make a roll with disadvantage from behind? You mean a roll with advantage? Disadvantage. Like yeah, I, to, I can't. To I see can't. From like where he is. I'm, oh, you I'm, can make, Yeah, from, you can from make, where I am. I'm yes. just like okay. From where you are, you'll have to do disadvantage. Okay. Hey. <laughs> I can only get one worse than that. I'm just going to assume I don't see it. But hey, in case I get the nat one, let's see if I fuck this up. Now the second one was a ten. So no, I gotta. I gotta. Would this be survival? Survival for what? To, to whatever see. I'm rolling. Oh, this is perception. Oh, perception? Then I got a five. <laughs> I can't yeah, you tell. can't see shit, Captain. Okay. I'm not in there. <laughs> All right, I am going to go back and report. Just <laughs> roll. Just stealth again. Oh, stealth again going back in the water. Splash. Oh, nat 20 that time. Just hey. Yep. <laughs> so you, put, you bring yourself back in yeah, there. Go ahead and drag me back into the crew. Uh, yeah, yep. Oh, well, there is a lot, a lot of money in there. Oh. oh. And a dragon. Hmm. Less oh. Yeah. My, my daddy had a saying about dragon money. Don't. <laughs> uh, was the... Like, Your daddy sounds like a wise man. He lo- Wisest man I ever knew. Oh. Oh. Oh, you mean the giant sea dragon that we saw on the scrying orb? Red's just like looking at this space right now, just like, great. Yeah, that one. Oh. Specifically. And we're in a really tiny, small, confined area where he's in probably a bigger one. Okay, yeah. I, mm. I mean, his area is. I, 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 d- I describe the areas, and I, I, I tell them basically it doesn't even look like he can stretch out to his full size in there. Like, did it look like he could? From where you were, you couldn't tell. Like, he kind of, like, curled himself up there. He seems all bunched up. Why would he do that in such a big old room if he could? Yeah, it, it wasn't a huge room. It was, I'm guessing it was taller than it is big. Yeah. I let them know that that's where the large it, other inlet comes in, because there's, like, a small waterfall in there, mm-hmm. which luckily masks our sounds if we do make any. Uh... Yeah, I, I, I say, like, basically our best bet, while there is a lot of stuff of value in there, probably be to sneak through that room and make it, like, because there's a tunnel on the other side. What are we going to do to mask him, though? Looks over to the caster. I mean, here's, like, did you do you tell them about the light of the ceiling? Yeah. I, I, I he, described the room as best I can. He's emanating just as much light as the ceiling is. All right. Well, do you think Eloy could maybe put some sort of illusion over him or something? To, to I don't think that mass light does it. I, I don't know how is, how it works. I'm I'm no mage, or bard. I uh, I have never tried. I I try to illusion a cloak on him to block the light. I was going to works. say I have a cloak. <laughs> that would I mean, probably that also work even works. better. <laughs> Well, yeah, you, you block out most of the sun. Most of the god rays are now coming out of his face. Yeah, I have my I have my Johnny Bloodborne getup that I can just like say. Here you can you pass go. that on to him, and he can wear that. Yeah. Yeah, have my shabby clothes, my shabby traveler's clothes. Rit, you you watch as you hear that when you said dragon, Rift's just like eyes wide. You know many dragons. I've I've never met one before. Like I hear they're smart. He, like, shrinks down. I don't want to go in there. Look, here's the thing. We've got we've got a bunch of burly guys here. You got Wake. You got Barabbas. I'm not could... fighting that thing. I will tell you that right away. All I'm saying is if something goes wrong, Risk, you have a line of defense to get out of you there. You don't know why I'm afraid, do you? It's a big, scary dragon. It makes perfect sense to be afraid of. They are gods to us. Oh, I, I get it now. No, fear, fear of gods is something I get. Like you are with your old lady, Big Rock Mountain. That's essentially what I'm facing at this point. I never met the lady. Yeah, but you have all your other gods on your side. In spirit, 
this is reality. <laughs> Her risk to say that. That is... Uh, the, the shaken faith of a man. I slap him and I say, Kelpie's got your back. The problem is I feel like our options are pretty limited. Risk, if you... You want to just stay out here, or try and head back to the... That's suicide. Exactly. Oh, roll a... Uh, no. Roll R persuasion. Risk, I gotta say. Right. I'm gonna roll my persuasion. 16. You slap across the face and slams dunks him into the water. Slap! <laughs> Lift him back out. Kelpie's got your back! Hmm... <laughs> Not, now, Riss, I gotta say. Talk to him, Splash! No! <laughs> Can I talk to him for a hot second? Goddamn! Okay, fine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so scared. You told me you wanted to become one of these, Risp. That was inspiring. I don't know if you know, that was inspiring to me. All my life, I've, I've been afraid of Old Lady Big Rock Mountain. I've just been walking around the world hoping that, that gods and such just don't notice me. And you, you went between worlds. And, and you saw what was out there, and you said, yeah, I could do that. That is, no, that is legitimately inspiring. But how are you ever going to achieve that dream if you can't even go near one? Persuasion with advantage. Oh, roll well. I rolled a nat one. Uh, uh, let's see. What's my persuasion? That just means Eloy inspires him even better. Fifteen. Now he's brazen and wants to fight the dragon. <laughs> You're right. You're I'm, fucking right. <laughs> I will become the god. You worked too well. Oh, oh dear. Um, he like steals himself, just like, mm, I'm ready. If I can eat his heart. <laughs> <laughs> you just fucking, you just put a god complex on a kobold to a dragon. Do you not understand the implication you just did? <laughs> nope. I do not. Oh, <laughs> good. Risp goes, well, god or no, combating this thing is still not a good idea. We should I see agree. That. Oh, oh, yeah. No, None no. of us want to fight this thing. Our, our goal is to sneak by. Look, when I, when I said it was inspiring, like, you still got a lot of respect for the gods. You don't want to <laughs> punch him in the face. You just want to be one. You got to mingle. Speak for yourself. Sir, I do not know you very well. It may be <laughs> presumptuous of me to say, but I do not believe it would be a good idea for you to punch a god either. I look over at Barabbas. I punch a god with words. I'm the closest thing to Ladarius' faith. I look over at Barabbas. Have you ever fought a dragon? You're a pretty big, tough guy. Uh, if anyone in this room has fought one, I I've, figured it'd be you or I've Wade. assisted in the fight of one. I've never succeeded against it. I was out for most of it. All right. <laughs> I probably have the most experience out of all of us, save for the kobold. Now on a scale of what? <laughs> what color was it? It's blue, right? Do any of you know how to resist shock? Resist shock? If anything, I'm the opposite of that. <laughs> I mean, I learned something at the Bard's College that might help. That's good, because us standing in any sort of water, when that thing's mouth opens, is a death sentence. Hmm. It could only help one of us at a time, is the thing. Which one of us do you think would be the straggler in this case? I look at Caster. <laughs> Brabus looks at Eloy. I, just, I was, I was going to say, like, I didn't want to speak up for my own self. I might be biased here. I'm going to say me. <laughs> Wrist nods, red nods, Caster nods. <laughs> okay, wasn't talking out of turn then. Don't take it the wrong way, sweetheart, but you are kind of large and cumbersome. Red said, she's kind of putting her hand on your shoulder. I put my other arm on Eli. Don't worry. I, back when I was still a baby, my parents would tell me a story. And dragons, they like to talk sometimes. So maybe you could out-talk him? Pat him on the shoulder. I sink into the water. <laughs> <laughs> I've never been friends with a dragon before. 
Sure, you know it. It's just, just we'll, a new adventure. We'll call that Plan B, <laughs> and sneaking past him without him ever even noticing us. Plan A. That I like that. To me, you like holding his warhammer up, and Plan Z <laughs> is fighting it. Oh yeah, I, I, I'm thinking Plan C, run away. <laughs> plan D, bribe him. <laughs> what would we have to bribe a dragon? Mm. Risp holds his hand up. What about the pyramids we got? Oh. What about ridding him of all the troglodytes? Why would the troglodytes worry a dragon? I don't know. Maybe he wants their meat. Would he be interested in a hundred platinum or maybe a bag of glass beans? <laughs> How about the singing <laughs> ring of a duke? <laughs> no, I already gave that away. Oh, damn. I got I got that commemorative mug. Why do I want you to bribe the dragon with glass beans? <laughs> Why do I want that? I mean, worst case scenario, I just drop them as we're trying to make a quick escape. <laughs> and we either exacerbate our problem or at least distract one. <laughs> okay, well. I don't know how big the tunnel is <laughs> leading into the other area. One of my you, favorite Skyrim you things are is dragging to, an enemy. Yeah, you, you I, you I was unable one. to see it. I just You are unable exists. to see it, but I will say this. You noticed that the dragon would not be able to give chase. It's too small for it. We just slip, slip by, and God's willing, it doesn't notice us. But if it does, if we can make just a quick sprint for that tunnel, we sprinting would be bad. It's a like we're yeah, This is you. this is a sprinting this is would be a bad. It's toe scenario. Well, no, it's I'm saying if it if it spots us and then fleeing is our next option because it seems like the tunnels are too small for it to fit in. I mean, I'll I'll throw this out there. If we're lucky, he's just asleep. And I can cast a silence on him so he won't hear nothing. He might notice the magic, though. Can do dragons do that? I don't know. Do you? Riff looks left, Riff looks left and right. Depending on its age, maybe. And Red. I mean, when red, I saw red, it swimming red, outside, it was. Red's going to roll an intelligence check. I don't really know, but I thought it was bigger than the Yeldon. I don't know how old that makes dragons. If he was bigger than the Yeldon, by how much? What does a nine intelligence check get me? This big! <laughs> I, I mean, like, if the Yeldon was, I don't know, here, it was probably, like, here, maybe here. I don't... She, like, kind of, like, thump... She, like, like rubs her eyes, like, oh, my God, this fucking idiot. But at the same time, she's like... I'm just... I'm trying! I understand, I understand, but I also don't want to be inside this crippling cave. It's young. It's a young adult. Okay. So is that... Do we think that's good enough to maybe make the silence work and it not catch it? Possibly. It's a plan, anyway. But he has to play a song in order for the silence to come in. Also, real quick, can I just say... I love her. I'm glad Ziaka isn't here, because I feel like this treasure would be a big, scary temptation situation that I'm just glad we're avoiding. <laughs> Uh, you, you watch as <laughs> fucking uh, Big Red just looks at you and just goes, I would have killed her on the spot if that were the case. I think we are, we're all just nodding silently. <laughs> I think I would have told her to just, you know, you need to go back to the bathroom. And I'm just kind of glad Nedra's not here because she'd want to fight it. I guess in the worst case... We and Onslow's not here because he'd want to <laughs> hunt it. He'd want to hunt it. Actually, he might be smart enough not to. Red and, Z Red and Ziaka. I mean, uh, Red, Red and Risp. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So oh. we don't tell them about this. That would probably be wise, yes. All right, cool. I'll, Are I'll, we going I'll, yet? I'll lead the way. Your hat's a little off. I adjust it so it's like brim down a little. <laughs> there we go. Mm. <laughs> All right, so you're going first. Roll stealth. Yorp. Just going to sneak my way out of this water. Uh, stealth of I'm gonna 24. I'm, I'm going to say this stealth is going to go for your move speed at this point, for one turn at this at this sake. So okay, where so you... zip through. Okay, so wherever I'm exiting the water is where it's starting? Yeah, so I'm going to say this is going to take up 10. I'm sorry, that's going to take up 10, the tunnel? Doesn't matter. I can get all the way over here. Yeah. So you are right there, yeah? Yeah. I'll stealth 24 out. Oh, we're getting out of the water? 
Stealth 24. Like, that's the plan, right? Okay. Hold on. That was that was equating you swimming through the water. Oh, okay. Do you need another stealth to breach the water? Yeah. You. Oh, sorry. 24 to swim through the water. Yep. Now to breach. That's even better. I am a sneaky bitch. 26. Just out. Mm -hmm. Just listening you as look, intensely you, as I can to you, the next room. To get you look to the starts. side. The head is right there. It Are its lo eyes closed? Yes. However, stepping up from the surface, you can do that. The waterfall and the pretty much the hum of the barrier around you is enough to deafen your noise. However, getting up on the surface, you're gonna step on gold. Well, I got a, I got a, tw I got a twenty, uh, sorry, twenty six for the second stealth. So, you step on the gold. <clears throat> reaches its paw out to stretch and plops it down in front of the entryway. So can we not get in now? No, plops it down. Oh. You mean the exit, right? Yeah, the exit. Okay. I just sit there like, kind of like in, in The Hobbit where like, you know, he woke up smog, just like. <laughs> and its tail goes into the water. Great. Next. On the upside, on the upside, you are ten feet away from that suit of armor, but it is laying on the side of its face. Cool. Next, I, I was gonna say <laughs> I don't hear any commotion, so I go. You feel the water ripple when the tail goes in, but you don't know what pushed the water. All right, he's right, not dead. All right, that's probably like Wake getting out of the water there. So I think he might be safe. Uh, I Barabbas will go next if you're not feeling brave. I I I think. Like, if I can just get in there and silence his that's, face. That's my thought, honestly. That's going to make it easier for everybody else. Eloy, I'm counting on you, and I believe in you. You can do this. Unfortunately, you can't give him a part of inspiration <laughs> dice. <laughs> yeah. And unfortunately, I can't apply them to myself. Um, that would be broken as fuck if you could. Ooh, what I can do, though, is use... Hmm. No, I don't think that quite works. I can use cutting words to um, impose it as a negative to his perception check, but I have to cut him with words to do so. I hold up my bottle of wine. Hey, you're an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> just the dragon starts crying in sleep. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Gonna roll stealth. Yep. Gonna get myself just like peek through that tunnel and proceed as slowly as I can until I can see where Wake is. Mm -hmm. Roll stealth the breach. Fourteen, uh, 15. You're fine. So does that get me up to where uh, Wake is? Uh, no, it was the 30, so like, you have a movement speed of 30, correct? Correct. Yeah, and so you're, and, you're, the, and you don't have a swim That's speed. 10 right there going okay. through the tunnel. So that's right. 20, 25, more square. 30. 30. Oh, geez, okay. geez. Sorry. You are right there. You are. You peek out and sense because of your anatomy, mm -hmm. like your upper body is able to look over and scope the treasure right next to yeah. you and the I, giant body of the dragon. I look at Eloy. You... You look up, and now the dragon's paw, the dragon's claw is covering the exit point. Can I see his his face? He's sleeping. Okay. You can see his face where he is, but like again, you're now kind of fighting his shoulder blade in your line of sight. Can you use one of those pegs to say where his arm is? Sure, sure. One the, second. Uh, exit. One second. Oh, good. Right next to me. So we're not getting to that exit without climbing over his. Yep. And you're and and you said I'm like right, like that treasure box next to me is that armor that I saw. That's the armor okay. set. It's the set. A whole set. Yep. But it's right up against his face. I do have a way of getting it. It's not smart, <laughs> and we might get chased <laughs> later. 
Well, before we move on to that, yeah, I no, I'm waiting for everybody else. Everyone to... Everyone else has to breach. Well, before they do that, I'm I'm gonna drop a silence on the dragon's head. I... How far does that go out? That's a 20 foot radius, which I will center around his head. No, no sound can enter or leave that zone, and and no sound can be created within it. So. I'm okay. gonna roll something real quick for the dragon because that is deafening silence amongst this cacophony of noise. Yeah, he would he would suddenly not hear the waterfall anymore. Which let's might see be how more deep asleep he is. Yeah, we're gonna. Wow, you fucking lucked the shit out. I rolled a two. He's asleep. You look at. By the way, you look at his maw. It's bloodied and looks like a piece of a whale has been is kind of stuck in his jaw. Fed recently, so maybe he won't be so ornery if he, if he happens to wake up. Not really the problem here. <laughs> <laughs> Who is next? Uh, You're the sneakiest. Yeah, I was going to say, I guess probably I, you and Risk, but. I, Red Caster and Barabbas. Yeah. I look back. All right. I guess I'll see you on the other side. Roll stealth. Greatest. Uh, luckily, he can't hear. 14. Where are you moving? I'm guessing it yeah. would have started being stealthy here. So yep. 10. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Okay. So next to Eloy? Yeah. I just look at you. Rolls. He's asleep. Roll stealth to breach. Don't worry, I do have into effect that he's asleep. Kay. And silence. Uh, 17. You're fine. <laughs> he's asleep, and it's quiet he over there. <laughs> oh, you said within 20 feet? I thought it was like circulated around the dragon's head, and each in, isn't each square 10 feet? That's true. Yeah. No, no, each square is five. five. I was saying that space alone is ten because oh, you're diving okay. down. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, yeah, this square is ten feet. This is technically two squares, basically. Yeah. So where is the silence affecting? I'm guessing it's... Right there. Yeah, that middle peg. 15. Okay, so it hits here and around. Yes. Okay. So yeah, I'd be able to talk to him. Okay. Theoretically, we should be able to. We could, we could be yelling, and he wouldn't hear it. Yeah, but I still like it's maybe the vibration's scary. probably not great. Hey, uh, I, 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 by the way, that hand is blocking our path. Oh. Also, look at this cool armor. <laughs> yeah, wake. That does look cool. Yeah, it's cool armor. That's behind the arm. That's <laughs> laying on top of the face of the dragon. It's like curled around there. I wouldn't be next to it if the arm was where Caster's I am. Caster's gonna go, oh, to hell with this. Wow. Going Nat 20, his, motherfucker! Going just before a, his bodyguard. <laughs> just blinked out of nowhere. I say. <laughs> <laughs> Point at the dragon. Have you ever seen one of those? I know you've been around the block longer than I've apparently been alive. <laughs> yes! I knew you would use that against them. I love it. But I think this block's a little bigger than the one you've been around. It's quite a big block. Barabbas. Makes it out just fine. Breaches. Risk. Oh. I gotta roll for the dragon. Uh-oh. Ro dragon rolls in that one. Never mind. Woo. He's fine. So Rift accidentally brushes the tail or something? Yeah, you watch as Rift's breaches. The back of his hand hits the tail. <laughs> just flipping the out. tail flips up. And kind of like donuts around onto the, onto the edge and knocks over a treasure chest into the water. Ploosh. Caster's like Barabbas. <laughs> ah, 
We still need to wait for Red to get yeah, through. Yeah, Red's turn now. Like she's has an Oh fuck me, she rolled a two. So the dragon's gonna roll something here. Yeah, yeah, the dragon's gonna roll something. It's asleep. And, and it rolled a four. So with all the negative penalties to being asleep and the silence, no, she makes it out. Okay. She mm. actually grabs the tendril from the side of the tail and yanks. <laughs> You watch as the head lurches up. I, I sink down. <laughs> oh. Okay. Well, we're so still we, uh, trapped with this problem of its claw. Uh, uh, no, you actually hear it mutter something. It's in the silence cone. We couldn't possibly hear it mutter oh, anything. Oh, that's right. Yet. That's yep. fair. Well, you, you actually might've, you, might've watch its it. mouth, you watch its mouth. It goes. I will try to read lips. That would be intelligence with disadvantage. That's fine. Yeah. No harm in rolling it. That's actually not too bad. 14? Four. 14. What'd you roll? Two. Two. <laughs> We're yeah. performers, not scholars. Like, yeah. I'm just watching it move. I'm just watching it move its mouth Despite and then, like, you. trying to enunciate what it's doing. Uh, you, also, a dragon mouth doesn't really look like a human mouth, and we don't even know if it's speaking a language we understand. <laughs> All right, I'm going to try and, like, mouth this out for you then. Okay. Gekling Kong 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 Siver. That's what I saw. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's all you're going to get, unfortunately. All right. How? The dragon's hand curls to the side and lurches this way, leaving a small path, but you're going to have to touch the dragon's hand to get past. All right, do we want to do anything about the treasure that fell in the water? Basically, what I was going to say is, I will hold back, since I think I'm the sneakiest of the group. I will go for that treasure after everyone else is safe, just in case it makes a ruckus. I'll red, hold back red, with red you, because I'm the fastest probably swimmer. I'm probably also tied for sneakiest. Red, red also goes, if you're, if you're willing to, age hand to assist. Ah, yeah, good idea. Makes sense. All right, then yeah, we can we can definitely do that. Is that what you want to do? <laughs> I look over at Wake. I feel like we're both like having this like, I can sneak. No, I can sneak. No, I, no, can, I can sneak. sneak. I'm, I'm real quiet. You, All right, you, know, what? The first you know what, time. Wake? I, I hate to do this because as a captain, I feel like it's my responsibility to All try right. and be there, but you're also roll a faster swimmer. So I so roll, roll, roll perception. Oh, Eloy rolled in perception. Uh, that would be a uh, 28. Caster's trying to pull in one of the chests. Caster, what are you doing? I have a way out. I'm, j I'm just saying, I have a real good way out. I deem this valuable. Okie dokie. <laughs> Barabbas looks at him, takes the hilt of his, of his war hammer. <laughs> oh. Fuck you, Al! Stop being an idiot! I deem my life valuable. <laughs> all right, I, could, now, I could go either way about I yours. First of all, we need to make sure that, you know, before we get anything, those of you that are need either to going to be out. taking up space or well, somebody needs to go through there. Risk looks left and right. I'm the smallest, I suppose. You are. And you already touched the god, Risp. Don't patronize me, please. I'm, I'm very scared. I'm not patronizing <laughs> you. I'm saying you've already conquered your fears. I'll go. Maybe we can all go together. Mmm. It was a match, but with all the disadvantages because of silence, he made it through. Yeah, yeah so that's silence. silence. Sleepy. No, you you watch as Riff kind of goes through and, and one so of pluck Risp off there. He's gone. Well, yeah. Grant can. He's right here. Risp gets to this door. Okay, Risp gets through the door. Yeah. Not a door. It's a little like tunnel. Pathway. You yeah. watch the hand. He kind of steps down, you see him trip, and a ruby <gasps> hits into the hand. Tink, tink, tink. <laughs> you watch its eye open. Lift its head. No. 
as it does that, you watch as a whale's head falls in front of it out of its mouth and it goes back to sleep. There's now a whale's head carcass looking at you. It's a baby blue whale. Is it baby blue and a whale, or is it it's a, a baby blue, blue whale, whale. That, is ba- that is a baby? It is it's, ba- a blue it's, basi- whale. it's basically a whale the size of a VW van. <laughs> yep. Why? <laughs> I'm not going to wave at a corpse whale. You want, don't eat where you sleep, man. Riss makes it through. He descends. All right. Next. I point at Barabbas because Risp is going to need protection. <laughs> Barabbas is just like... He gets to go, and then Caster grabs him. No, you don't. Not without me. All right, both of you. He pulled on the back of Barabbas' head that he pulled him back, and his wing hit the dragon. You guys got to stop doing this shit. You really got to <laughs> stop doing this shit. This is why I had them sign a waiver. If they die, it's not our fault. Yeah, but we might die. The dragon getting up. Now, I've been waiting for this. What's the dragon looking at? Them? All of you. Right, well, uh, the instant some shit like that happened, I was waiting for it. I'm drinking a potion of invisibility. I the dragon looks like it's about to let out a roar but then notices that everything around it is quiet like the fuck I I see it confused and I bolt everyone who isn't out who didn't make it through so everyone except for risk now has to roll an athletics check to make it out of the water I'm out of the water. Oh, yeah, you're fine, but you have to get past its claw. All right. Grabbing that armor. <laughs> <laughs> you're invisible, after all. You might as well go for it. Yeah. May as well. <laughs> Roll athletics check. If we're in a pile of shit, you might as well dig a little deeper before you're getting out. Nat one. Nat 20. Oh! oh. Opposite problem. <laughs> okay. Well. <laughs> all right, so I'm going to... I'm going to keep... Just Hanna-Barbera. <laughs> I'm going to keep this quiet for quite some time. We're going to have to get to you later. You guys, okay. roll I'm athletics invisible. to get out. I've disappeared. Good roll. Uh, <laughs> it's uh, 21. Two. Let me roll for everyone else. Barabbas makes it out. Caster trips. Oh, my. Oh, no. Great googly moogly. Red just... Grabs him by the back of the shirt and shovels him face first in the gold. Oh! <laughs> Some of that will get caught in pockets. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> it's the payday he was looking for. I rolled a two. <laughs> and yes, it was a two on the face of the die, and since it was athletics, I get zero added to it, so... The hand slams down on you, Caster, in red. <laughs> and th- we are at 8 o'clock. That's a natural stopping point. <laughs> Hold on. I got a nat 20. What happened with me? I'll at least say this. You got the suit of armor. He doesn't notice you just yet, but now there's a floating suit of half, half plate mail. I got a nat 20. That, has, that was a nat 20 athletics. Oh, you have it. You have okay. the whole thing. Yeah, you grabbed it. You're yeah, but like, it. the role was to get the fuck out, right? Well, I, no, think, I think since I'm, you said, I want that armor, you, you went, went to get, that instead You went to get the oh. armor instead of escaping. I'm right next to the armor. I'm assuming action, move. <laughs> no, you... It was you, 10 feet away, I thought. So no, to, I'm right next to it. That I is know, the armor. I know you're right next to it, but I'm, unfortunately... All right. I'm going to have to put my foot down here and say, All right. instead of escaping, you chose to grab the armor. You got a nat 20 and grabbed the armor. All of the armor. (laughs) I was only going to give you a piece. Fair enough. Fair enough. I got all of the armor. Gotcha. So there is now a young blue dragon staring down at most of the party who did not get away. And that's where we'll end the session. Fellas, I have a plan. Cliffhanger. (laughs) Holy shit. Damn. Oh, well, I wouldn't leave you behind anyway. (laughs) 
I'd set the armor down somewhere and come back. <laughs> so there's now a young blue dragon looking down at red, Ezra, and Caster. All right. Well, quite a start to this adventure. I was, I, I'm sorry, but like, I'm just sitting here going, this is going as awesomely as I hope it would, because <laughs> now I get to actually use this character. <laughs> well, I was hoping that I'm just like, okay, one of two things can happen here. The dragon can be throwaway, or the dragon be can become a centerpiece of this treasure hunt. <laughs> and you have just made it a centerpiece. Hooray! All right. Well, with that, we aren't done quite yet, because, first of all, we have some fan art to look at. Ooh, yes. And second of all, today being the first day of, or the first session of the month where Zito is present, we have some Discord Q&A going on. Yes, we are not pulling out our phones to be rude. Yes. I'm pulling out my phone to get to the fan art. Is this regular order 1 through 12? Regular order 1 uh, through 12. I wonder if this dragon will like oh the boy. one that's platinum I This session, on. yeah. Let me scroll down to the first one on here. I'm so happy two weeks. I should be ready. <laughs> two weeks of this, I prepped so hard. All right, starting here from Mostly Fun Stuff Arts. Whoa. MFS Arts on Twitter, we have a We'll Be Right Back. Natural Wonders Saturday Morning Cartoon Edition featuring Mumja. Oh, no. I know. It looks like the, like, the best way I can describe this art is it looks like that early 2000s Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles yeah, reboot. Early 2000s? Yeah. That sharp line style? Yeah. Like, I love, I love the shading, the coloring. This is great. I absolutely love it. Thank you so much, MFS Arts. Next up, we have this 3D model of Nedra. By Mason Goggles, aka at Media Roads. You can see their little and if you look on their page, information down there. If you look on their page, they have it in actual motion. Yeah, it's crazy. This is awesome. Thank you so much, Mason Goggles. Like, if this were a video game, I'd want to, like, I, I'd choose Nedra. Dude, I wish I, I, I'm just like, I really wish I wasn't strapped for cash right now because I'd just be like, hey, can I, like, get, like, more <laughs> of the characters in 3D? Like, please? Next up, by Scrap Paper 22, we have <laughs> the Negaverse Wonders <laughs> with the evil versions of Wake, Ezra, and Eloy. Wake looks very orcish. Like, he's got this chain with a sick hook on it. Yeah. Meanwhile, Ezra's got Scaffy around his neck, and it looks super evil on his arm, and ready me, to huck some knives at somebody. And meanwhile, there's, there's fucking goth College of Whispers <laughs> Eloy. <laughs> Eloy looks like... Um, God, he, 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 he looks like, uh, God, I can't remember the name of the character in the uh, Sopranos, but he looks like one of Tony's muscles. Yeah! <laughs> I know which one you're talking about. My music yeah. will make you sad. I just want to teach everybody that the world is dark. Let's <laughs> listen to some Nightcore. <laughs> Thank you so much, Scrap Paper 22 for that awesome, <laughs> awesome take on the Negaverse. Next up... I think I got a Everyone little bit of a ways to scroll. Everyone on is a bunch of Justin and Brittany wannabes. <laughs> <laughs> Dark Chaos 0896. <laughs> given this future vision of It and Nedra, as if It is some sort of familiar to Nedra, going into battle. I love that Nedra has uh, the little Nautilus symbol on her arm, signifying that she's been part of Wake's school. She even has a new weapon. Not sure what that is. Is that a trident or an it looks, axe? It looks, it looks like a very small spear. I was gonna say, I think it might be your spear. I don't. It could be. It could be that. Yeah. That, Passing that on the master sense. spear and all that. Because remember, isn't your spear just like it's the spearhead attached to a stick? It's a spearhead attached to my former master's quarter staff. Yes. Right. So I'm going to assume that it's the spearhead attached to another piece of a wood or something. Makes sense to me. But thank you so much, Dark Chaos 0896, aka Chaos Dragon. Nedra's future adventures look bright. Next up, by Blitzy, commissions <laughs> are open. Here we got Team 4 Kids with the Saturday Morning Wonders with Mumja in two different forms, Cleopatra, and, and uh, Trixie Little Ziaka. <laughs> Thank you so much, Blitzy, a.k.a. Glaive Chio. Their commissions are open. Oh, this noodly arm. <laughs> Next up, scrolling on down, 
the Foot Clan. Yeah, we got we got the Mumjins, the Mumjinians. <laughs> By Sage Green Cat. I love that they have their mum chucks and their uh, onk shurikens. Can, can we call them mum joes? Mum oh, mum joes. Mum joes. I'm, I'm down with mum joes. Uh, this is exactly how I imagine them. They're very putty esque, very foot clan, like yeah. foot clan crossed mummy, basically how I describe them. Fantastic. Thank you so much, Sage Green Cat. Next, by Space Ferret, we have this awesome looking wake who seems to have like some sort of spinal. Uh, problems, but he is jacked. No, nah, man, it's not. It's not a spinal problem. He's a JoJo. Yeah, he's he's a JoJo character. I love the detail and the texture on this, mm. like the hair and the flesh tones. This is this is super awesome. Im- this is super impressive. Mm-hmm. Uh, kind of, yeah. Oh yeah. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. This is this is great. I absolutely love it. Thank you so much, Space Ferret. Next up. We have, it's me. We have Rosilla Tommy's Lieutenant Gore. His expression, and you, he even has the pointed teeth on the bottom side there, you too. Could just, you could just feel, like, just he a is simmering intensity under that smile. He, he is, like, this close. He is a hedgehog's hair away from just snapping into a different personality. He is ready to rip someone asunder or give them a big hug. It depends on how they react. <laughs> yeah. Because you know what the problem is? Is that I can look at that face and I couldn't tell him either or. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Get ready. Here Slap. I go. <laughs> Next up, by Brett Agney R2199, or Brittany, we have this watercolor calliope. That is a, I, I am in love with this style. This yes, this really, watercolor really style is great. Uh, I, I love that her hair is very Princess Peach-ish almost. Yeah. yeah. That's what the vibe I get, yeah. Yeah. Not often we get a blonde calliope. Mm. But that's that's artist what happens when we don't really... Yeah, yeah. artist no, interpretation yeah. is an amazing thing. And I absolutely adore this style. Thank you so much, Brittany. Next up, we have another take on calliope. This one, Caitlin N37s. Renfair calliope. Yes, Ren- Renfest calliope. <laughs> She's about to sell you a turkey leg. Huzzah for the tipper. <laughs> And or with Caitlin, or a, or a leg of yam, you know, whatever yeah, is on yeah. offer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and with Caitlin C37, her commissions are now open again. So, if you want to get some awesome art made wonderfully, do it. Yeah, hit her up. Another great calliope, and for some reason, it scrolled me all the way back up to the top. So I gotta scroll down further until I find this one again, while I make time by talking at you. Rolling for making time. I rolled a four. Fuck, you're out of time. I'm not doing great. You're out All of time. Right. <laughs> Next up, let's see if I have these memorized then. <laughs> hey, it's a mumja. Yeah, we got this mumja here by Forbin Sun. This is almost exactly how I imagined him when I described him. I get a like the headdress on. I, I, dig, I dig the flavor yeah. of the bandages on his head being like antennas that form an M, though. Yeah, that's really nice. Also, hello, greetings, blunders. Yes, greetings, blunders. <laughs> And next up, <laughs> last and certainly not least, Zim Scandran in Zero One has been drawing Invader Zim style characters. Grammy is the one that just fits the oh, best. Yeah. I, I feel like you could just so there's a scene in Invader Zim where like a like Dib is talking to a hobo at like a fucking restaurant, and then after talking to him and conversing with him, after hearing some good news, the hobo just goes, waddles off, stops at the door. Picks up a dude and football hikes him out. Just kidnaps a man. <laughs> that is what I see with this. <laughs> secret ingredient. Kill <laughs> half the secrets. Secret. Ah! That boy's an alien. <laughs> thank you so much, Scandranin01. And thank all of you for joining us here at the table. We hope you've had a wonderful time. We hope we don't die to this dragon. And thank you again to everybody who submitted. Oh, there it is. Yeah. To our flag contest and thank you very much to Marvel Poison. Like congratulations again. This is an incredible incredible piece that we have here. Mm-hmm. And we'll see you guys next time at the table. <laughs>